Peter Fernachik. Good evening. It is a good evening, isn't good it? Evening. It's always What's a good evening saying? when this guy's next to me, right? <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. So this is Carolina Thunderbirds hockey with Peter Fernachik and me. See, I'm just along for the ride at this point. He's, he's the real reason you tuned in, 100%. But game three of a six-game homestand tonight for Carolina. Peter, when we look at this Watertown Wolf squad that rolls into town tonight, two meetings with Carolina this season, a shootout loss for Carolina and a win there on the second trip. Their first and only trip to Winston-Salem this year. But this is a completely different Watertown Wolves team from the one that we saw the last time we were up there in Watertown. They added some scoring on the back end. Uh, most importantly, or most notably, Parker Moskal being brought into the fray on the forward line. No, oh, 100%. Uh, I got a chance to call, uh, talk to the Watertown, Watertown coach before the game. By the way, if people don't know, like he was coaching me when I was playing in the juniors in Canada. And by the way, the Watertown coach right now was, uh, when the Thunderbirds played the first ever game when they came back, they played the Team Nurture night. The, the World Tank Watch on the bench, so... No kidding. A little, little bit of fun fact. You full, definitely full circle. Know. No. See, he did more prep than me. By the circle. way, I was playing the game too. So, yeah, he was saying he was saying they did a couple changes. They did... They did um, uh, they add a couple players, and uh, he said they are ready to play, and... Uh, we will see definitely a different Watertown, but uh, I still feel like uh, the Thun uh, Thunderbirds are a favorite for the game, but you know, the Watertown can be a team you can a little bit underestimate, so we will see what's going to happen, and uh, hockey is a game with two nets and one puck, so everything can happen. Right, and a lot like last week, I think for Carolina, the key would be to limit the mistakes. So a few turnovers here and there last weekend, a lot more than I think everyone would have liked to have had. So a little bit cleaner, more simple plays here against another team like this that's going to try to bait you into making mistakes. If you are a Carolina Thunderbird, like uh, if you go to the game 100% already, you should you should win the game. But on the other side, Wartime's team, you can easily underestimate. You right. know, you can, you can uh, go to the game a little bit easier and uh, anything can happen. That's Peter Panachik with his insightful insight. And now this from the Department of Redundancy Department. I'm just kidding. We'll be back uh, on WTOB with our Coach's Corner interview here momentarily. We'll be back here on YouTube here in just a little bit to continue to get you set for puck drop between the Watertown Wolves and the Carolina Thunderbirds. That's Peter. I'm Brett. Jose Mahina, Logan Allen, and Colby Cook are helping us out on the technical side of things. We'll be back in just a few moments on our Honda Can Am Winston-Salem pregame show. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher. Pushing further. Achieving Remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic-looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four-motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at FlowVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. 
Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Hey, you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media. Broadcast in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends! With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. 
Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. At Novant Health, every day you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. A Cadillac is more than a statement. It's a celebration of self-expression and a declaration of your independence. So choose to be bold and choose to be exactly who you are. Visit Flow Cadillac today at 1400 South Stratford Road, Winston-Salem, or shop online at flowcadillac.com. Inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, I'm Brett Wiseman, that's Peter Fedacic. Good evening from the Winston-Salem. Good evening from the Winston-Salem, the one and only Winston-Salem. <laughs> As the Carolina Thunderbirds get prepared to take on the Watertown Wolves tonight. Some, a former Watertown Wolf, as we take a look at the FBHL transaction board, Peter. Someone who spent a lot of time in this league and someone who you know, you've faced quite a few times. Ryan Marker, most recently with the Elmira <clears throat> Mammoth. Mammoth. Um, announced his retirement uh, earlier this week. Again, somebody that, that you had a fair share of battles with, one of the leading uh, point guys in, in the history of the entire FBHL. So before we dig into the rest of the transaction sheet, and that was the biggest one that I think stuck out to everyone. I want to get your thoughts on, on Ryan, what it was like to play against him and, and to congratulate him on a great career. Yeah, Ryan was definitely the guy who knew how to score. You know, he, did, he didn't like much uh, going back to defense, but he, he definitely was a guy who, who knew how to score. He was a danger, you know, when, when you play against him. And... Uh, Congratulations to him, career, and good luck in the uh, rest what he's going to do. Again, he has announced his retirement from the Elmira Mammoth, so best of uh, best of luck, best wishes to uh, to Ryan Marker on what's to come for him. Justin Laporte was claimed on waivers by the Elmira Mammoth from the Delaware Thunder. Binghamton making a couple of moves, but most notably, I think, Peter, 
Ethan Bush Anderson, a big piece for the Mississippi Seawolves. He's back from loan to the SPHL. And as a result, Vinny Susi released on a waivers, but that's a big add to the back end for Mississippi. Big body defensively. Another uh, loan news, uh, just a couple of hours ago, it was announced Jared Yow of uh, the Danbury Hattricks headed uh, to the far east of us here in Winston-Salem. He will join the Fayetteville Marksmen. Uh, and he'll be in the lineup for them in the SPHL uh, tonight. They're in Evansville playing the Evansville Thunderbolts. Take another time out here on the Honda Can Am of Winston-Salem pregame show. When we come back, take you around the rest of the FPHL tonight. And there's certainly some games you're going to want to keep an eye on. Peter and I will be back right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with 4Motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. We're inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. I'm Brett Wiseman. That's Peter Pranachik. Good evening. Peter, there's some games we certainly want to keep an eye on here as we look at the FPHL standings. Of course, if you know the playoff format as we inch closer and closer to that time of year, it's the top four teams in the league that make it and the top two that end up with home ice advantage. Carolina's on the cusp of being in that top two. Danbury and Columbus are in the top two. They're playing each other tonight. Binghamton, however, uh, they're facing the Delaware Thunder. That's the only game in action right now. That one uh, from Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in Binghamton, where the Thunderbirds will actually be for three games at the end of this month. And that rounds out uh, a lengthy road trip for you guys. Let's take a look around the rest of the league now, shall we? Let's talk about that Danbury-Columbus game. It's definitely going to be a big game. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Um, you know, Christian Paula's big, big addition for Columbus, so I'm definitely want to see how it's going to play out. And uh, Danbury is a good team, especially at home. So big, big, uh, big game, bigger uh, for both teams. So I'm very excited to to see what's going to happen there. And it's 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 odd with the timing, right? You know, Danbury loses one of their best defensemen on loan to the SPHL. Columbus adds one of the best goaltenders in FPHL history. And those two things kind of offset each other. You've got some storylines going into this one. Oh, 100%. But I feel like Denbury is a good good enough team to, to handle this situation and replace the guy. And uh, I'm saying that Denbury Hedrick is definitely one of the team's toughest team to play at home on a, on a high. So I want to see I want to see what's, what's going to happen there. And right, as tough as it is to play Columbus in their barn, you'd know just how tough it is to play at the Denbury Arena for sure. Yeah, for some reason, the Denbury, Denbury Arena is, you know, like, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. If I'm being honest, I love to play in Columbus. You know, it's it's always fun. You know, they got a good crowd. I know the guys on the team. So for me, it's always, always fun to play there. And again, that's going to be a showdown that a lot of people are going to be keeping eyes on, especially us, because that's one of those situations where if we get towards the end of the year, you kind of hope 
that one or both of those games would go into overtime so that both teams would split those points, right? Yeah. So when you do the math, <laughs> if one or both of those games go into overtime, we're talking about teams splitting points, and we're talking about Carolina being on the other end of that uh, come springtime. But again, you want to be in the top. You want to be in the top four, number one, but you want to be in the top two. Home ice is always uh, preferred. The home, I mean, home, home ice in the playoffs is a big advantage. Like no matter what 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 sport you're playing, home ice is a huge advantage. So you definitely want to climb up the ladder to be the highest seed possible, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, we can make it make it uh, work for for us. So uh, Port Huron and Mississippi are both off this weekend. Uh, so only one other game to tell you about tonight. That's Motor City and Elmira uh, from First Arena. So those are the only other two games in the FBHL on an unusually light uh, Friday night in the Federal Prospects Hockey League. Those two games get going at 7.30 alongside ours. And Delaware and Binghamton underway about 10 minutes into that first period, still scoreless between the Black Bears and the Delaware Thunder who have surpassed the Battle Creek Rumblebees record for uh, consecutive losses. So again, trying to break that string, but not an easy team to do it against. Yeah, Bingham playing one of the best hockey and uh, we didn't play them yet, but uh, from what I heard, they're playing uh, good hockey and uh, they are one of the te top team in the league uh, for sure. A former Binghamton Black Bear may be in goal tonight for the Watertown Wolves, and it's someone that, as Coach Garrett Rutledge told you in our Coach's Corner interview on WTOB, someone that's been a thorn in Carolina's side both last year and a little bit this year. That's Owen Lieskovitz. We'll see if he's in net tonight for Watertown, and we'll get you the rest of the starting lineup for both sides right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. You can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media. Broadcast. In a the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex on our Honda Can Am Winston-Salem pregame show. That's Peter Panacic. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, let's go through the starting lineups tonight. You want you want to read them? Uh, it's your job. Nah. You, you can you can. Yeah, you, you you do it so well. <laughs> we trust got me. that. Let's go. Justin Pringle, Blake Peavy, and John Butita. That's your starting line tonight. That's line number three for Carolina tonight. Pringle, the Toronto native. Blake Peavy, the St. Petersburg, Florida native. And of course, everyone's favorite, the captain from Middleburg Heights, Ohio, John Butita on the right wing. That reading from left to right on the forwards. Viktor Gravitikov, the Russian native, and Joe Kennedy from Seattle. They will be the second defensive pairing tonight for Carolina. And they will start. And the Missoula, Ontario native, Mario Cavallari, will be in between the pipes tonight for Carolina. Mario comes in carrying with him a season best 3.21 goals against average and a 9.01 save percentage. Let's go through the rest of the line combinations for Carolina, Peter. Dawson Baker back on that top line with Gus Ford. Gus Ford in the center of it. Josh Keplinger on the right side. And all three of those guys really 
play so well together, but they've been, at least Gus and Josh have been playing so well uh, individually so far. You talked yeah. about how good Josh's this, shot has this, been. This was the one of the dangerous uh, line uh, last two games, and uh, I'm excited what they're going to bring on the table today. Gus Ford, by the way, leads the FBHL in points with 69 so far this season, so continuing to pace the league in that marker. Yuri Pastuka, your buddy, he's on the left side of Lucas Rowe and Jan Salak on the right side of that second line. Richie Pinkowski moving from forward, from defense to forward. He will be the 10th forward or the extra forward tonight. That'll do it for us here on our Hanukkah and Emma Winston-Salem pregame show. National Anthem time, and then we're going to drop the puck on this bad boy. Watertown Wolves, Carolina Thunderbirds. Peter Panagic and I will be back to bring you all the action right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? 
Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic-looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at FlowVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com. Use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. You can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana.
gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green and play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends! With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Panachic, let's do it. As they say in hockey, let's do that hockey. Let's do that hockey. Let's enjoy the game and me and Brad will, will be the guide to tonight's game. Peter will be the guy to <laughs> someone who knows what he's talking about. I'm just the guy with the voice. Exactly. Well, we kind of talked about it in the pregame, Peter, but uh, what do you expect tonight uh, from both sides here? Well, there is a scenario A when uh, our, our team is going to dominate the whole game and, uh, you know, we're going to focus on hockey, going to score a couple quick goals, or there's going to be a scenario B when we will underestimate our underestimate the team of the Watertown, and it can be, you know, the similar game to the last two games with the Mississippi. Again, a team like Watertown that's going to try and bait you into a few mistakes here and there. Uh, and Coach talked about this as well. Super key to try and stay disciplined. Oh yeah, hundred uh, percent. That's that's our little bit issue sometimes when uh, you know we play uh, we play a great great game, great hockey. Then then you know we we we, we always start a little bit uh, being not disciplined enough, and that's when uh, you know the game is getting like even. So hopefully, hopefully we're gonna stay, stay disciplined today and uh, gonna focus on the hockey and uh, dominate all the game and uh, take all three points. Six points this weekend would be huge, especially when you look at the standings board and the top two in the league are playing each other. So could be big if uh, one or both of those games go to overtime and the points kind of split up. But again, a sellout crowd expected to be the seventh consecutive filing its way into the annex. And we are underway. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this one tonight. Carolina wins the opening draw. Justin Pringle tripped up at center ice. Loses the handle. Larry Yellow Knee for Watertown. We'll get this in deep. Back of the goal. Rabinikoff is lasered was, from behind by Jitterich. And already shenanigans as Victor's down. Pringle comes to his defense. Boy, that did not take long. Immediately... Damian Poole and Josh Linville, the Thunderbirds training staff, out to get a look at Victor as that was a blind hit from behind by Lincoln Jinerich, number 44. Or was that 94 that hit him? Now that's 94. That's John Amonatitis. Who is being escorted to the box, and we'll see how long he's in the box. But the concern is certainly Victor. So he's being worked up to his knees now. 
Boy, everybody in a black sweater that was on the ice came to his defense right there, Peter. Oh yeah, you always like to see that. Hopefully Victor's gonna be all right. And it was tough to tell really on that hit. I mean, it was definitely from behind. Victor definitely had his back turned, so it was definitely boarding, but kind of hard to tell what exactly, what part of his body may have gotten hurt there, but Larry Yellow Knee will yeah, go give him a, a tap. Yeah, it's a two-minute call. The thing is about those hits, you know, like, when you are a player and when, when you know, like, expecting to be hit, you need to be ready. You need to take a breath in and get ready to get hit. You right. Know? That's, that's the injuries happen always when, when you don't expect it to get hit. So, Victor probably was, like, a little bit open, and that's why he's getting hurt. Hopefully, he will, he'll be okay. And he's skating off immediately all the way to the dressing room right now, and hopefully he can come back tonight. By any means, there's uh, too many power play for, uh, for Carolina Thunderbirds, and that's definitely always good to start with a power play. And... Uh, in uh, 20 seconds of the game. Right off the hop. Carolina wins the draw on their opening power play of the night. Tucker first pass is blocked out top. Taken by Dawson Baker to the right for Gus Ford. Ford dangling out top. Drops it out top for Baker. In the center of the ice trying to shoot one through traffic. Here's Butita. He had that ripped away from him. Shot down the length of the ice. It'll bank on goal. Cavalieri will play it back for Tucker Firth with a minute 35 to go on this power play. Gus Ford kicks this out of his skates, works it up the ice, dangles around a defender in front of back Henry scores! Oh, baby! Gus Ford, you're ridiculous! one nothing, just like that! 55 seconds in! Oh, Peter, what do you even say after that? Honestly, Brett, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it was a beautiful goal, beautiful by Gus. But, like, if you are a Watertown Wall defense, like, how you let this happen, it's just blowing my mind. But all the credit to Gus Ford and how we talk. Perfect start for our, for our guys. And uh, this is exactly what you want. One, one goal leap in one minute. And uh, you can just continue, continue with it. And now a whistle as a Watertown Wolf lost a stick on the play. It was offside was the call. Rowe can't win the draw. It's taken by Watertown. Brandon Baker will backhand this in deep. Bioni's pass picked off by the former Thunderbird Nick Papandria who shoots that one on goal and it's gloved by Cavallari. Third team of the year for Papandria. He began the year in Elmira, or began the year, I should say, here in Carolina, then was traded to Elmira. And then he and Chase Dabari, another former Thunderbird, were dealt from Elmira here to Watertown. Tucker Firth levels a big hit right there on Michael Mann back of the play. Don Carter Jr., another former Mammoth player, hops on this. Throws this down below, back of the goal. Jan Salak is on it. Salak, bodies off Carter. Comes around, back of the goal again for Firth. Pastuka trying to shovel this out. Held in at the point. Carter tipped it, but not quite on goal. Salak's got this on his backhand, and he'll backtrack. Maneuvers around Don Carter and gets a start up the ice. Here comes Jan Salak to the red line. Checked by Carter. Gets the puck in deep. Good job by him just to get that in deep. Man chips it up the wall. Pastuka chipped it down and held it in. Kennedy throws it deep. Salak hounding after Jinerich. Loose puck over the stick of Salak. Played back for Rowe. Rowe trying to feather it back of the goal for Salak again. He's bodied off by Papandria, and out he comes. Now that's Moskal. Moskal ahead for Carter, ripped away by Danny Martin. Martin ahead for Salak once again. Salak down the left side wing, he'll get it in deep and rip it around the wall. Butita had a shot at that loose puck, Carter can't get it out. Kennedy rips it from the point and hit Butita in front. He hops on this loose puck. Here comes the Thunderbird captain back out top for Kennedy. Shoots it through traffic and hit Peavy in front. Yellow knee trying to skate this out, Carter. Didn't look like he quite had the red line, but they'll give it to him. Played back of the goal by Cavallari over the stick of Butita. Held into the point now by Zach Horn. 
Oh. And now a cross crease pass off the stick of Yellow Knee. That was close. McGuire holds it in and throws it back at the goal. Amonitidis couldn't get to it. This is banked up and off the glass. Pringle's able to maneuver this out. Pringle working hard on his man to force it back into the offensive end. McGuire gets a bit of a pick and throws it out to center. Shot on, they score! That may have been tipped in front as there was chaos in the neutral zone, but Trevor Lord is the one who took the shot and it goes in. Kind of an unsuspecting play right there, Peter. Yeah, we'll look the, at it. The, there was a guy wide open on the, on the, on the side of the board and uh, yeah, this is definitely not one you want to see if you are Carolina at 100%. But I feel like the yeah, when I'm watching the, the replay here, it's just, I don't know. It's just being soft in a, in a neutral zone, you know, don't picking up your, your guys, and this is exactly what happened. You know, like, we were talking about the under him standing, the, the water time, and that's what happened right here. Firth plays it back over for Bryce French. He'll move it ahead for Keplinger, who finds Ford. Here's Ford in, trying to shoot down on the backhand, was blocked away by Brendan Hussey. Here's Firth. Down low on the wall, Baker has it go through his skates. Hussey, whose brother is in the goal crease, that's Gregory. It's shot out down the length of the ice. Lord is after it. French will wall him off and let it trickle on goal. And Cavalieri will glove it and whistle it. 16-10 to go here in our first period and already plenty of action. Two shots for Watertown, one for Carolina. But the one for Carolina went in the back of the net. Face off one by Carter. He'll try to muscle this down the wall. Lord leveled by Firth. Keplinger hops on the loose puck from that collision and works it down on his backhand. Dawson Baker hops on this. Cross ice feed for Firth. Trying to go back to Baker. It'll eventually come to him indirectly off the boards. Baker down the right side. Shoots. Missed just high. Hard bounce comes all the way back out into the neutral zone. Bioni. Feeds it ahead for Ford, who tries to stick handle around a couple and drops it back for Baker, who are trying to restart the attack. Ahead for Keplinger, one on three, trying to keep control of this. He'll do a good job to backhand this in deep. Baker is after it, is able to make room for Firth. Trying to throw it back out top for Bioni, but it's picked off by Moskal. Moskal shoots this on goal from the red line, and it's gloved by Cavalieri as Moskal and Bioni come together there after the whistle. 15-20 remaining here in our opening frame. And a 1-1 game. 1-1 game. Kind of an inauspicious start. You get the power play early on. Carolina gets the goal and then maybe lets off a little bit just for that momentary lapse. That's what can happen. It can happen just that quickly, Peter. It can happen quick, quickly, Brett. Uh, I mean, as soon as you're going to get the water time guys a little bit space, you know, look at here, shot. You mm. know, like, we are being way too soft in our D zone. And we're giving the, the one time guys way too many space. Look at that. Amana Titus with a good opportunity right there. A shoulder to side by Cavalieri after Yellow Knee missed just wide on his shot. Yeah, again, you get a puck on your stick and you are not able to, to get it out from the zone. And then, then, then that's when the troubles happen. You know, you, you don't get a puck over the zone. And that's, that's mistakes. Salak stretch pass ahead, Pastuka dangles around a man. Pastuka shoots, missed just over the crossbar. Salak takes a big hit from Amana Titus, who's a man that's got his number circled after the hit on Gravenikov earlier, as this is cleared out. Martin back of the defensive zone for Carolina, stretches it ahead, but a hit row in the back of the skate, brought ahead now by Hussey, but taken away. Backhanded by Firth for Pringle. Pringle will move it ahead on his backhand for Firth, and he'll try and break this out. Did he pass Danny Martin? He's got room to get through center ice. Cross ice feed, Butita lets it go for Pringle. Pringle for Firth, Firth wrist shot through traffic. Missed high. Peavy hops on it down the wall. Pringle down below the goal line, trying to bank that back out top, and now it's banked up and out of the zone. Firth is in a foot race with this with Lord, and Cavalieri comes out of his goal to play this. Picked off by Hussey. That shot got on goal through the legs of Morton, but Cavalieri made the stop. Brett, I have to say, Waterton had already like three, four dangerous shots. 
The shots are now 5-1 Wolves. You know, all the shots went on our head. It was very dangerous. So we got to be very careful with it. Pringle banks this in deep. PB's after it. But it's back end of the round the wall for Don Carter Jr. Carter trying to skate this out. Bank pass in deep. Michael Mann comes to an indirectly leveled by Pinkowski. Good hit there. Back out top it comes. Fanning on the shot there. It comes free to Carter. Carter shoots it. Blocked by Kennedy with Moscow cheating down the backside wing. Carter chips this around a defender, takes a hit from Pinkowski. Carter Ooh. skates to the slot, shoots, that one was blocked. And Carolina is hemmed in right now. Pringle takes a hit from Mann. Pinkowski hops on it as well. Kicks this out of the scrum to Kennedy, and now Carolina can break this out. Kennedy with speed through in the neutral zone. Skates around the Watertown Wolf. Moves it in front. Baker shoots. And Hussey got a piece of it. That was a big save. Joe Kennedy made that scoring chance pretty much single-handedly right there, though. As it shot out of the zone and off the wall in front of the Carolina bench. Bioni ahead for four. Too far for him. This is going to be an icing call on Carolina with 12-18 to oh. go as Gus Ford just took a shove at Amonititis as we head towards a timeout. Yeah, 94 has got his number circled after he sent one of the longer standing Thunderbirds off to the locker room within the first 15 seconds of the hockey game. 1-1 one, one is our score with 12-16 to go in the first period. The Carolina Thunderbirds and the Watertown Wolves knotted up. First timeout of the evening. We're back in 30 seconds. Always reaching higher. Pushing further. Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Thank you, the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. That's me. <laughs> I'm Brett Wiseman. 12-16 to go here in our first period. Tied up 1-1. And Peter, this is when it seemed like the ideal start. And then the wheels kind of fell off the wagon there. Yeah, if I'm being honest, Watertown's playing very effective, effective hockey. You know, they, they, they don't overcomplicate uh, things. They just go... They just pass the red line, down the puck, and go for it. You know, they they're making the, the simple plays right now. Yeah, yeah, they they making the simple plays. They 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 playing what they need. So I'm very very surprised with their hockey, and they playing really good so far. And I feel like for now they are a better team, Brad. Amanda Titus is chasing after this along the wall. Baker can't chip it out. Trying to shoot one in front. A big hit out top. On him. Uh, that was uh, generous by Kepler. Here's four to the two on one for Kepler. Oh. He couldn't get the shot away. Hussey was down and out. Bioni out top, shot was blocked by Yellow Knee who hops on it. Yellow Knee down the right side, feeds it in front for Amana Titus, tried to drag his stick back for one timer and set a centering pass, hit a body, and out comes Firth now. Firth with Keplinger through the neutral zone, first stops up out top into the high slot, Baker over for Keplinger who was wide open, but he couldn't get the puck to his stick. Picked off by Ford, trying to fight through the checking Amana Titus who was shoveling out. Here's Firth behind his own goal, ahead for Martin. Around a checking Hussey, ahead for Pasuka. Now for Salak. Salak fights off a back checking Wolf. It's down in between the skates of Hussey, who delayed just long enough to get this out. Nope. Rowe held it in for the moment. Danny Martin hops on it, trying to chip this around a Wolf. He's able to get it in deep. Papandri is after it, watched by Salak. Up the near side wall, and out comes Watertown with another clean breakout. Hussey shoots it on a goal from the red line, and Cavallari will make the save. And see, it's a play like that, Peter. And again, it, it seems harmless. It seems inauspicious, but you force an offensive zone draw either you get way. A, hey, you get an offensive zone, you know? Like, that's 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 how the water pump plays. They just dump the puck, they go for it, you get a zone, you know? You, and then you get an offensive uh, face-off, and you can make some play, and you can get a shot, and you can score goals. So they playing very effective, simple hockey. Parker Moskal is entering into the face-off dot, or so we thought. Now, 
the official with the puck has skated over to the linesman with the puck has now skated over to one of the officials shots are 7-2 Watertown well, let's go ahead and pause 10 seconds here for station identification on WTOB this is Thunderbirds Hockey Watertown didn't have five guys on the ice. They only had four. That was the delay as a shot from the Lord has come all the way back down into the opposite end. And Pastuka made the hit, but it's cleared out. Danny Martin back at his own end. That pass hit Moskal in the side of the helmet. And now French is able to get it out. Some wacky stuff going on here. Pastuka gets it in, but it's picked off by McGuire. Now Rowe forces it loose. Pens hops on this. Chips this around back of the goal. Cavalieri couldn't get a handle on it. And it shoots and scores to Michael Mann. Brad, that's what I was saying. Little dump in, you go for the puck, and it's 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 a goal. Like our guys being so soft and uh, so irresponsible in our D zone. It's and the air's been let out of the balloon here in the annex. Two to one, Wolf lead. And Peter, you said it's again, it's just another one of those little dump-ins. It looks odd, it looks, you know, inauspicious, but if you're not hard on the puck like you should be, you're gonna give up those chances, and that one just banked in through exactly, the pass. Uh, exactly how you said, Brad, you know, it was an easy dump. The, the border town forward went for it. You get puck in front of the net, and you score a goal. You know, hockey is a simple game. Now Michael Mann gets the goal, that's his fifth. By the way, Ford's goal earlier, that was his 29th. So, one away from 30 on the year already. And you know, and now you got a totally different game. You know, you go to the game, you got a 1-0 one one lead in a one minute period. And now after a t another nine minutes, you are down, down by one goal, you know. It's definitely, it's definitely it's gonna do something with your, you know, like mental, you know, like, so. I just want to see how, how our guys going to react. Hopefully, hopefully they're going to keep keep the head up and uh, put the put the foot on the gas. Carolina's got control in the defensive end. Tucker Firth trying to stretch that one ahead was tipped by Trevor Lord. Butita muscles his puck free. Here he comes, but his pass across for Pringle was picked off. Wilson moves his ahead for Lord. Lord stops up out top. Offside. That's offside, and there's the whistle as it hit a hard charging hussy. 9.27 to go here in our first period. And the atmosphere here has changed from one of jubilance to one of nervous energy, I guess you would call it. Two to one, Watertown leads out shooting Carolina eight to two. We'll be back in 30 seconds. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. Next, that's Peter Fanatic. I'm Brett Wiseman. 9.07 to go here in our opening period. And Peter, as we said, this is a game that you start off with that power play. You think things are going to go a little bit smoothly, and all of a sudden... Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about before the game. You know, the World Town is a team you can easily underestimate. And in a sport, no matter what sport you do, when you underestimate someone, it can quickly bite you back, you know? And that's what we're seeing right now. You know, the shots on the net, 8-2 for the, for the walls. 9-19 to go, I should say, in our first period, as this is chipped in deep by John Amonatitis. And again, you can see you can see the the dump in a, in our zone, and a Watertown forward was first on the puck. Like Arfon Shirley for the Wolves, he 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 wasn't able to do anything, but he was still first first guy on the puck. 
This is picked off in center ice by Gus Ford. Shoots around pins, and that one is blockered aside by Hussey. Ford trying to maneuver and gets puck free. It's banked up to the opposite side. Kennedy holds it in. Shoots this through traffic above the goal off the back wall. Keplinger near side. Skates out to the high slot. To the right for Kennedy. Shoots this through traffic. Hit a stick of a Watertown Wolf. Banked up the wall. Kennedy holds it in again. Firth at the left point. Banks this down low. Baker centers it. Keplinger Ooh. shoots. And Jinnerich got a stick to it and banked it up out of play. I and like Josh a, knows he had an opportunity yeah, right yeah. there. Like when you when you give a space to to player like a Josh with a great shot, I mean the Warriors got lucky they got a block block with a shot because Cobb's got a, one of the best shots. I'm saying it all the time. He's got a, one of the best best shots in the league. So if you give him a space. In the in the in the between the hash marks, he's he's gonna most likely score a goal. And you can see that was the situation right there where he was able to drag that back and get the get the lift on that shot, and that's why he was frustrated and slammed his stick down there in the corner because he knows he had the goal set yeah, to beat. Yeah, he know he know he know he's got a good shot. So let's see what's what's gonna happen now. Bestuka off the faceoff tried that set play that he scored on last week. Didn't work as the shot was blocked, but no harm, no foul as Watertown ices it with 8.20 to go in the first. Carolina wins the draw and now a whistle after it. And I think we're going to redo it. There's a Ooh. shot from Pastuka off the faceoff again, and Hussey had to stick that down. Lately, Yuri Pastuka is on fire. Like he definitely know how to know how to score from this from this position after the draw. He scored a couple goals like that, so he's definitely a dangerous player. What or not? Coach Garrett too. Rutledge's words: "Playing like a man possessed." Forces this puck loose from Michael Mann, sends it down the wall for Lucas Rowe. Rowe chips it back outside for Pastuka, who will throw it back out down below the goal line. Behind the net, picked off by Yuri on the far side wall nearly, but now hopped up and out by Watertown. Pass for Carter was taken away, and now Moscow shoots it on goal, but it was offside. Cavalieri made the save. Watertown will touch up. Martin's able to backhand this all the way out to center. John Butita hops on it, chips it around McGuire, but McGuire's able to muscle that free and maneuver it out. Bioni on the back end for Martin. Stretch pass ahead for Butita. Touched ahead for Rowe. Rowe touches it back for Butita. Here's Butita looking for Pringle in front for the backhand pass. Hit a stick. Pringle trying to fight off a checking Wolf there, but he's bodied off of it by Brandon Baker. Stretch pass knocked out of the air by a Thunderbird stick, but it wasn't too high to play it with. And it now was, it's flown it down. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, looked it like it should have been high. Yep. The whistle didn't go immediately. But he was signaling the high stick before. So I think it was a good call. Yeah, it certainly looked like that was sticked down high at center. Of course, you have to wait for whichever team to touch it. And Watertown touched it. The whistle didn't go immediately, but they clearly the right call on that one as Hussey will take the draw opposite Peavy. Watertown will play this back of the goal. Pinkowski shouldered off of it by Hussey. Carolina cannot get it out again. It's held in by Lord. Throw down low. Wilson trying to feed it over for Hussey. Leveled by Firth. Hussey still trying to center it. Taken away now by Blake Peavy. Peavy ahead for Pringle. Pringle lost the handle on it in the neutral zone. It's maneuvered out. And Pinkowski will have to drop it back and wait for Carolina to touch back up. Firth will get it in deep. Around the wall, Pringle pokes this behind the goal. Peavy trying to muscle it free as bodies are crashing behind Hussey's net. Out of the scrum, Butita hops on it. Butita, left point Firth, rips one, and that one's blocked. Get a shin pad of a wolf in front. Pringle dangles around a defender. Pringle trying to maneuver it in front. Loose puck and Hussey diving out of his crease to make that stop and get the whistle. 6.14 to go here in the first. 
Well, that was a tremendous individual effort right there by Justin Pringle, Peter, and it darn near resulted in a goal. Yeah, hundred percent. Like soon as our guys, uh, you know, like start 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 playing uh, playing around, you know, do a couple cycles and uh, play with the speed, that they definitely are playing World Town Walls. But we didn't see it much so far. So hopefully, hopefully we can we can see that much more. Shots are nine six in favor of Watertown. Ford chops this back. Martin maneuvers it. High slot shot. Oh, it it's in. It no, wait, is it? No. It did hit that the post. That looked for sure like it might have gone in, but no, Peter, you said it hit the post. It hit the post from my view. Well, that was just a seeing high wrist shot through traffic right there by Martin. It was close. It was but very it, close, very close. But if Peter says it didn't go in, it didn't nah, go in. I hit the post from my view. Let, let's, let's be real. Let's be real. <laughs> Pens is able to work this up and out. Amonitidis has it ripped away from him by Martin. Now touch pass ahead for Ford from Baker. Ford, the fan on the shot, was bothered by Pens. Keplinger trying to settle this puck down. Skates around a defender, banks it off the back of the goal. Baker in front, jamming away at it. And McGuire comes free with it as Baker and Pens come together. It's a shot down the length of the ice. Big hit by Gus Ford. And it's going to be an icing call on Watertown to boot. Who says Gus Ford can't hit? Big time collision right there. Let's look at it on the replay here on our feed, Peter. Right there. That was a big hit. Gus has a knack for making those sneaky huge hits for somebody his size. Yeah, you don't see, you don't see, you know, like Gus is uh, the playmaker, you know, usually those those types, those guys don't, 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 don't like to hit much, but you can see he's fired up. He wants to some, do something in a game and uh, that's what you want to see. Ford skates in the high slot. Now oh, Baker, oh, a one-timer. It was padded aside by Hussey. Held in at the point by Martin on goal. Dropped back. Keplinger cutting the shot. Baker one timer oh, again. Oh, Hussey got it. And the whistle went as Baker goes after Pens. Oh boy, here we go. The mass of humanity back there. Samana Titus and a Thunderbird are involved. Martin's in the scrum. Kennedy's in it as well. Martin has Whoa. his gloves off, takes the man to the ice. <laughs> Chaos has broken out, and now Hussey has grabbed Danny Martin. Kennedy was involved with, I believe, McGuire. It's a yard sale back there. Ford's gloves came off as well. Martin was involved. There were, Peter, there might have been two or three separate scraps going on I feel in like the midst everybody, of that. Everybody, everybody was involved. <laughs> everybody had a dance partner on that one. But prior to that, like uh, Dustin Baker had two great chances. It was two similar plays from the top to the, to the left side. And uh, credits to the Watertown goalie. Now, Hussey made two spectacular stops, jumping from post to post. As they, it's almost like they tried the same play twice. Oh, and it was both the times shot, yeah, yeah. shot down. All the fans on the feet. That's what people want to see. So we'll see what comes of all this with 5.13 to go. Penalty box is full of Thunderbirds. So far there's a Denny Martin there, Joe Kennedy and Gus Ford. That's a lot of, it's uh, a lot of hair in there by the way. Oh yeah, a lot of flow. <laughs> there's, there's some, it's like somebody chopped up a lettuce leaf in the penalty box right there. Colton McGuire is currently the only Watertown Wolf in the penalty box. As the captains for both sides, Charlie Penns and John Butita for Carolina. 
are receiving the explanation here on how this is all going to shake out. And yes, Christian Russell in the chat, it is definitely going to be a party in the penalty box, if not both of them. Thunderbirds are now out shooting Watertown 10 to 9. Penalties haven't come through the official stat wires yet, nor have they gone on the board. This can take a minute. Amanda Titus is now entering the box for Watertown. Well, Peter, there's not a whole lot you can really say after a situation like that. I mean, from a player perspective, when chaos breaks out like that, and I don't know that I've really seen a situation, at least not this year, I've seen it previously at other times here and there, but where there's two or three separate scraps, there's separate fights going on in the same well, it's a hockey. That's, it's always, you know, like you always have, you know, like some scraps in front of the net in the corners. But I don't feel like it was something big, you know, like huge fights. It was just, it's a part of the game. So hopefully, hopefully referee is just going to do two minutes to every guy who was involved and we can move on. And we'll see if there's more two minutes to one side than the other. Which right now it looks like Watertown might end up getting a power play out of this unless a third wolf enters the box, then you'd assume it would be offsetting. <laughs> Danny Martin standing up in the penalty box now. We should get a penalty soon. Hopefully we'll get this sorted out here soon. And I believe, let's see, the penalty box door for Carolina just opened. <clears throat> Danny Martin's walking out. Has, has he been ejected? It looks like. And now he and Hussey are going to chat about it a little bit. It looks like power play for Wertown, Brett. There's two minutes on the board to Joe Kennedy. And Danny Martin has been escorted off. Penalty still haven't come through the wires yet. Well, if Danny Martin is getting ejected from the... What's... John Amonititis from Watertown has two for roughing. We got another two minutes for, I think. Amonititis and McGuire both two for roughing at 1447. Those are the two Watertown penalties. Joe Kennedy's been assessed. Then we got a gas for two minutes for, I think. I think they said Joe just had two two-minute penalties for referee, two separate ones. So why is Danny Martin out of the game then? I didn't hear game misconduct. Well, Watertown's got a power play here with five minutes to go. Ooh, that was a shot, shot on. Good save there by Cavallari. And Danny Martin has two for roughing. Joe Kennedy has two for roughing. Joe Kennedy has the two separate two-minute minors. Now, Danny Martin's only been assessed a minor. There's no major penalty. There's no game misconduct on the board. So why is he, why is he not in the box right now? John Boutita breaks this out shorthanded. 
Slams on the brakes and tried to center it for Peavy. But it's picked off by Wilson. Moves this ahead now. Hussey. Oh, be careful there. Man in the two-on-one. Oh, Yellow oh, knee nice fanned pass. on it. That's a break right there. Gutita trying to dangle around a man, and Bioni is able to whack it out. As PV will force this back into the offensive end for Carolina, the defensive end here with the first 50 seconds of this power play kill. Wilson at the red line, dangles around Salak. Salak trying to poke check it away. Maneuvered in front, Moskal delaying, picked off by Kepler and shot down. Hussey. Ooh, oh, lost it as Kepler came sneaking in there. Oh, that was close. He was playing with a fire over there. Like he was taking his sweet time on that one. Pastuka will now bank this in from center ice with 35 seconds left on the Watertown power play. Pens will try and break out in the last 30 of this man advantage for the Wolves. Moskal skates around a couple, heads down below the goal line. Shoots from the Ooh. cross side, and that was a dangerous looking shot from a tough angle. Pens through traffic, blocked in front. Dawson Baker gets it out, shoots it on goal. Hussey will play this ahead for Lord with nine seconds left on the Kennedy penalty. Lord, near side, heads down below the goal line, sends it out top, played over for Pens. Power play has expired. Just the one shot for Watertown on it. This is played all the way around the wall by Papandria Pringle. Trying to chisel this out and it's sent out on the backhand by Pastuka. And Carolina will change. That was a great kill by, uh, by our guys in a black. 2.50 to go as this is picked off by Peavy in front. Pringle gets it away on the backhand. That was blocked in front. And now Papandria skates this out with speed. Trying to muscle around first and gets a hip check to boot. Carter hops on the loose puck. Played over for Firth, back of the goal. He'll hop on it far side. Firth into the neutral zone, hits the red line, gets it in deep all the way around the dasher. PV comes to it. Lost the handle on it, picked off by Carter, who stretches it ahead for Hussey. Settles this down. Hussey shoots, blocked by the stick of Firth, alertly up and out of play. 2.18 to go here in our first period. Watertown still leads Carolina 2-1. to one. Shots are 11-11 even. We're back in 30 seconds. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four-motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Thunderbirds the trail the Watertown Wolves 2-1, Peter, and... Yeah, Brad, I got a little bit mixed feeling from this game. We start so good, you know, we start with the speed, but... Right time find a, find a way back and uh, they're up to one. And like you said, they're just playing the simple game right now. They're playing very simple uh, simple game and like how you can see, it's very effective. They just don't complicate it. They playing simple hockey and they're up to one. Let's see. There's going to be probably some setup play from the Wolves. So yeah, it looks let's see like what's going to happen. There is a one shooter up. Hussey's going to take the draw. That's Wilson that's directly behind him in the position to shoot if he wins it. Peavy will take it for Carolina. Won by Watertown, but not cleanly enough to set that play up as this one is shot in Ooh. from the point. Cavalieri is able to alertly glove it and get the whistle as Brandon Baker is the one that shot that on from the right point. to 11 to go here in the first period. Peavy wins the draw on the tie up. Firth will bank this up and out. Or try to, it's picked off. Now bounce. he gets it out. Pringle chases after it. Another weird bounce off the stanchion. And finally hopped up and out by Watertown. French collects, 
in his own end. Stretch pass, banked off the stick of Hussey. And now Rowe loses the handle. Wilson for Hussey. Shoots blocker to side by Cavallari. French banks it up the wall for Peavy. Hussey works it free. Feathers a pass in front for Lord. Firth to his knees is able to get it to French with a minute and a half to go here on the first. Wilson's on this. Wilson <laughs> shoots and scores. Short side, Elijah Wilson. Again, Off Brad. the crossbar and in. Again, Brad, we had a puck on a stick. You have a puck on a stick. Basically, not, not much pressure on you. You you managed to lose the puck, give it to the kind guy, and just, it ended up in the net. 3-1. This is definitely, definitely not what you expect from this game. And not I feel ideal. Like not ideal what you want, wanted to see. But we've been we've been talking about it for a while now. The softness in the D zone, you know, like the defense is what win, win, wins you do the championship and the big games. You know, you're always gonna find a way how to score a goal, but the defense is the main key. How, how to win a game. Let's see now. Here's a chance now, the two on one with Ford and Baker. Ford dangling, trying to jam it in. Oh. And the whistle goes and Ford is shoved to the ice as he's trying to stuff that in between the pads of Hussey. This, this line is very dangerous. You know, Gus Ford, Dustin Baker, and Josh Keplinger. Those, those guys, when you give them the puck, they know how to, how to find a net, how to find those, those chances, you know. 67 seconds remain here in this first period. It's a two-goal deficit for Carolina. Now we got a four, four forwards there. We got a Copes, Bakes, Lucas Rowe, and Gus Ford. That's interesting play. Ford off the faceoff win, holds it in left point. Baker now down the wall, Keplinger over for Rowe, trying to stretch it over for Baker. He'll hop on and off the deflection. Out top, Ooh. Kennedy works it free for Rowe, who shoots that hit a stick. Baker had his stick tied up, couldn't get to it. Moskal shoots this in cross side. Man takes a hit from Kennedy. Kennedy's backhand pass is picked off. Ford can't kick it out. 30 seconds left here in the first. Ford dangles around Carter, moves it ahead for Kennedy. Kennedy starts the engine up the ice. Keplinger couldn't get that pass free. Picked off and worked out in the neutral ice. Ford taps it ahead. Keplinger trying to maneuver it free. Ford hops on it, but Mann gets it into the zone for Watertown with 15 seconds left. Over the stick of Baker, icing waved off. Papandria back of the goal. Banks it up the wall. Moscow kicks it out with five seconds. And that's going to be probably it. Here's Rowe with two, shoots it wide and that will do it for the first period well peter well it's a lot to talk about after of, this first period definitely a lot to talk about and it's a lot to talk about not a lot of it's good well yeah brett it's gonna i just want to see what's gonna happen in a, in a locker room right now because they definitely need to figure it out something what's going on seems like carolina might need a wake-up call or a jolt there in the locker room and uh We'll see what they come out with in the second period. But a less than ideal start for the Thunderbirds tonight. They trail 3-1 to one after 1 here in Winston-Salem. We'll be back to break down this first period. Peter and I will. We'll take you around the league for scores and more when we come back on our intermission report. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher. Pushing further. Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. 
visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four-motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at FlowVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. Back here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, after the first period, Watertown leads the Carolina Thunderbirds 3-1. to one. And it's really a story, if you look at it from both perspectives, Watertown's playing exactly the kind of game they want to play, but Carolina... To, to put it mildly, seems to be sleepwalking a little bit. Well, Brett, I'm going to be very honest, and some people might not like it, but if you're coming to the game thinking you're going to score four, four, three goals, you know, it's going to be point night. This is the result what you're going to get, you know. This is absolutely unacceptable from the Carolina Thunderbird side. You're playing on your home ice, you give up three goals, and honestly, I feel like Wartam is a better team, you know. They had a better chances, they had a better position, they played just better hockey. They lead by two goals, they lead by two shots on the shot counter, 14 to 12. And you said it right there. It's one of those things where when you come into a game, you see this team's in fourth place. They might be struggling a little bit, but you can't come into it just assuming it's going to be point night for everybody and underestimate the other team. That's, what, that's what we've been talking on, about. On any you know? given night, these things can happen. That's what we've been talking about. I was saying the scenario, scenario A would be eliminate. We're going to come prepare. Or the scenario B, when you're going to underestimate Watertown, and that's exactly what happened. You know, so, you score a goal, you were up 1-0, and everybody just relax. You know, it's going to be easy night. We're going to score a lot of goals. And bam, you got a one quick goal, second goal, and then you got a third goal. You are down 3-1 by, by two goals. So hopefully, hopefully the guy's going to wake up a little bit. They're going to start being more aggressive in the D zone where we struggle absolutely ridiculously. we holding on the pucks. we just too soft. So hopefully, hopefully things will change. Hopefully a bit stronger, not just in the defensive zone, but in the neutral zone as well, because it seems like Watertown's gotten a lot of their chances from not just clean breakouts, but they're being allowed to dump the puck in way too easily at the red they, line. They, they playing simple game. They they play they playing simple game. When you know when you are under pressure in a D zone, they just ice the puck. They just trying to get it out of the zone, and that's the key. You know, in a neutral zone, they just dump the puck and go for it. You know how many how many times we saw like Wartam Wartam players to be the first on the puck. You know, right. we are being lazy. We are being too too soft, and that's the that's the result what you get. And 22 seconds in, when you lose one of your better defenders in Viktor Kravenikov, not saying, you know, that has an impact on things, but certainly you get one of your better defensemen off the ice, that changes things a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but it, it can be your excuse, you know. It right. can be your excuse when you lose a player. You still have to find a way how to how to perform as a team. You know, hockey is a team game. You know, you can relate on one guy. Everybody got to connect together. You know, from the goalie to the last forward, everybody has to, has to connect together, and then you can succeed. 
Again, 22 seconds in that boarding penalty on John Amonatitis. He's had his number circled for the remainder of the night after that penalty on Victor. Uh, but on that power play, though, Gus Ford had the backhand goal at 55 seconds in. And then you look ahead, there are no Carolina shots on goal between that goal at 55 seconds and then the Watertown goal at 3 minutes and, and actually, 22 actually, seconds. And actually, Watertown had a plenty, plenty chances to score a goal, you know? So... I'm saying hopefully, hopefully our guys going to figure it out in the locker room and come back uh, as a much different team. And Michael Mann again scored at 9.45 uh, of that first period. And then Dawson Baker had those back-to-back -back really good chances on goal. Got into it in front of the net. Now still Danny Martin. Ah, there it is. Okay, now it's come up. He's been a successful sportsman-like conduct. Uh, so that's a 10-minute uh, misconduct. But it's not listed as a game misconduct. So... Assumingly, he should, he should be back. He should be back. He should, he should be, be back, back for the second be period. So it was just he a 10-minute penalty, which nine times out of ten you do end up serving in the locker room. So out of all that, out of the scrum in front of the net, Martin got the two for roughing, and then the 10 for the unsportsmanlike conduct, the 10-minute misconduct. Colton McGuire and John Amonitidis for roughing at that 14:47 mark, and then Kennedy and Gus Ford for roughing. But... Joe Kennedy got two separate roughing minors. That gave Watertown a power play, which Carolina killed off very effectively. But you look ahead to the rest of the period. Elijah Wilson with that little simple short side shot, bangs it off the crossbar and in. That's sometimes how it happens. You know, you puck on the net and yeah, I feel like Mario, Mario, Mario will not definitely be happy about some of those goals, but you know, that's a hockey. You know, you need to accept that. You gotta move on and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about the next 40 minutes. See what the message is like in the second period or in the intermission right now. We'll see what Carolina comes out with, which should be a full frontal attack, you would think, if uh, Garrett Rutledge does what we think he'll do, which is try and light a fighter under those men in that locker room. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, we need to wake up. You know, let's be real. We need to wake up. This is not the hockey we want to see. You know, like, you are a Carolina Thunderbirds. You need to perform on the highest level. You know, like... This place is like we are. We are. We always been winning. You know, there is no no reason why we should we should be down three one with the water time. So hopefully you gotta we gotta forty minutes to figure it out and be back. Twenty minutes in the books and a twenty minutes that Carolina will look to close the book on and put behind them and have a much stronger forty to follow. Three to one, the Watertown Wolves lead the Carolina Thunderbirds after the first period of play. We'll take you around the rest of the FBHL scoreboard after this. That's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. We're back with more on our first year intermission report in moments. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. You can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media, broadcast, in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22, can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation. 
and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. The Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, that's Peter Fanatic. I'm Brett Wiseman. Let's head to the Danbury Arena where just moments ago a goal's been scored 537 into the second after a scoreless first 20 minutes and a scoreless first five of the second period. Michael Marshashan unassisted getting Danbury on the board and it's Brendan Colgan that's in net for Columbus tonight, Peter. Wow, that's interesting. We can even see 15 nights for shots for Danbury. Yep, yeah, Danbury's zero, at 15 on the shot second. counter. Yeah, Denver is definitely the one of the hardest team to play on the home ice. You know, it's it's something it's something that I don't know what's that, but there's something in the it's air. Something, something in the air, like Hetrix is very very difficult to play there. And Columbus is finding that out right now. Six minutes into that second period, hat tricks a one nothing lead. They are through two periods of play now in Binghamton, and it's not looking pretty for the Delaware Thunder. Most recent goal from Nikita Alvashkin at 16:51 of the second. From Austin Thompson and Colin Fitzgerald makes it four to one. Binghamton shots 29-17. This is more expected. The Black this is this is kind of what we expected to see. So yeah, Delaware no is here. Delaware trying to avoid losing their 27th in a row tonight. Unfortunately, it looks like they're headed in that direction. Motor City looking to gain on the Idol third place Port Huron Prowlers in the Continental Division. They're facing the Elmira Mammoth tonight. Six minutes and 15 seconds into that second period. Five minutes into it, just Jonathan Giuliano from Josh Colton made it 2 nothing Motor City, and they are peppering the Elmira net with shots. 23 to 10 to be exact. So Watertown 18 to 8 were shots in the first period. So, or excuse me, Motor City definitely dominating the start of that one, Peter. Yeah, Motor, uh, when, from what I remember when we played in a, in a, in a Motor City, they, they, they are a tough team to play. They are a tough team to play. And, you know, compared to Elmara, it was more more on the soft side, what, 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 what um, is, I remember a little bit. But definitely Motor City is a good team and a tough team to play. They lead it 2-0, 6.5 into that second period. And we'll again remind you, Danbury still holding on to that one nothing lead over Columbus, six minutes and 46 seconds into that second period from Danbury Arena. When we come back, we'll break down what's to come in this second period and what adjustments are being made in that Thunderbirds locker room down at ice level. That's Peter Panacic, I'm Brett Wiseman. Back after this, this is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, Achieving Remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four motion all wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. 
Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at ClovoVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com. Use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. Back here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, I'm Brett Wiseman, that's Peter Panacek, and look who hopped in. It's Matthew Bazarin. Oh. Hi, Baz. Oh. What up, boy? Peter's stealing your thunder over here. Or are you stealing Peter's thunder? How should we view that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter, what's going on inside that Carolina locker room right now? Well, it's tough, you know, like if you are a Thunderbird, you need, now you need to go all in. You know, you are, da you are down to goals and you definitely got nothing to wait for. So if I would be in charge, I would be saying, like, hey, let's start, you know, force force them for a mistake. So you definitely for check out and uh, definitely uh, try to uh, shoot some uh, shots on the net. Start the four check. And Christian Russell wants to remind you in the YouTube chat that you are a great broadcaster. So just thank you. Just, I just, appreciate just al always remember I appreciate that. Peter. That's why as, I'm here. As you long know, as, I appreciate as long all as you the kind play, words. And always remember that. I, I will. I do. Back second the, period. Second period. Second period's coming up next. Right after this. <laughs> hey, you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media. Broadcast in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, that's Peter Panacek, I'm Brett Wiseman. Matthew Bazarin has joined us up here in the booth. He's 
Popping a squat, seeing how everything works as Viktor Gravenikov's back on the ice and immediately shoots one on goal and it's stopped by Hussey. That's got to be a good sign, Peter. Yeah, definitely, the, uh, Brad. I feel I, I, I think the first five minutes is going to be very important for the, for the, for the th Carolina Thunderbirds and uh, usually the first five minutes dictates the, the, rest of the rest of the period. So hopefully, hopefully we can be active and uh, hopefully we can be productive. Carolina wins the offensive zone draw here. Keplinger trying to center that for four down the near side of wing. Banks back out top. Kennedy maneuvers his way into the high slot. Shoots and it was blocked just high. Hussey might have gotten a piece of that with his glove. Keplinger holds it in at the point. Dangles around a man. Can't get the shot away on the high slot. Ford tried to hold it in. It's maneuvered out to center. Grabenikov plays it over for Kennedy who puts a slap shot in from the red line. Gloved down by Hussey. Banked up and out to Brendan Hussey, Brent, and he'll get it in. Hussey trying to shoot one on. Kennedy blocked that one. Hussey hops back on it. Cross side all the way around Wilson. Ford trying to fight him off. Firth comes to his rescue and shovels it out. Minute and five seconds into the second period. Firth picks off the pass attempt in the defensive zone. This one's set down the length of the ice by Joe Kennedy. Ford will try to win the race, but he's beaten to it by McGuire, and that's an icing call with 18.46 to go. Danny Martin is still in the penalty box. So he's still got probably about five minutes left or, in, or yeah. so to serve of that 10-minute penalty. We got an icing call, and you can, how you can see the, there's still Gus Ford, Dustin Baker, and Joe Kennedy, who still didn't make a chance change so hopefully we can win the draw and uh, get a fresh fresh bodies on the ice held it at the point by Moscow but not for long Firth hops to this ahead for Baker centers it for Ford Ford cross ice Salak Salak shoots just over top of the crossbar banked off the wall and out by Moscow but Bioni strong up at the red line Set down the length of the ice, and this is not going to be an icing call. It's waved off. Firth shoulders a man down. Bioni moves this ahead. Pastuka or Salak, he'll come back to it. Salak feeds this down the near side for Rowe. Rowe skates below the goal line, one times it on goal. Stop made by Hussey. Salak hops on the loose puck. Salak trying to feed that one through traffic. Mostel picked it off. Firth gloves it down at center, gets it back into the offensive zone. Baker. Moves it ahead from Mann around a back checking Firth. Picked off by Pastuka, stretched ahead for Rowe. Chips it around Pens, and the two will go after it. Pens needs it ahead for Baker. Baker, stretch pass, tipped off the stick of Bioni and in deep. Cavallari plays it around the goal for Pringle. Lost the handle on it. Now back in and in deep by Watertown. Amonitidis hops to it. Shouldered by Bioni. Utita trying to muscle this free, eventually comes free from Yellow Knee, but it's held in at the point by Jinnerich, thrown around the wall. Bioni in a battle with Amonitidis. Brad, we're struggling with getting, up, with getting the puck out of the zone. Like we could see it three times in a row where our guys had the puck on a stick and still were not able to, to get the puck of the zone. And, and now you have a Water Times gun like playing with the puck. Played around the wall once again. Pinkowski will try and muscle this out. And again, it's, it's still in, a, in our zone. Carolina is hemmed in right now as the forecheck is on for Watertown and then some. Butsita hops on it with a little bit of space to work with. And again. And eventually does get it out, but only as far as center. Hussey is chased by Rowe. Banks it for Lord, who chisels it to the opposite side. Pinkowski's on this. Banks it off the back of the wall for Bioni. Butsita. Can't get it out. Wilson picks it off. Wilson stick handles his way in on the near side. Down below the goal line. Backhand pass was picked off. Lord's on it for Watertown. Lord trying to shoot one through traffic short side. Comes free opposite side of McGuire. Now from the back of the goal, that one's sent on. And Cavallari knocks it down with the glove as Hussey and Pinkowski are face washing each other in front of the goal mouth. Yeah, Brad, but we are being very, very bad in you know, getting back from uh, our, our, our D zone. 16.05 to go here in the second period. And Peter, you said the first five minutes of the second period were going to be key. And to put it bluntly, it doesn't look like a lot's changed. 
it, it looks the same to me. Water Towns is having more control. We are being lazy in a D zone. We can get a pack uh, from our, our, our D zone and uh, definitely not, not the star we wanted to see. An offensive zone draw here for the Wolves. Carter off the face-off win. Below the goal line, Moscow touches this over. Keplinger picks it off and tries to muscle this out. Down the near side of the wall comes Josh Keplinger. Shoulders around and check, moves it in front, forward on the backhand! Oh. Poke checked by Hussey. That was a great play by Copes. Oh, even... He used his speed, his body. Here's great pass Keplinger to again on it. Very close. Here's Baker. Baker shoots. Hussey made the chest save. Hopefully, hopefully this will be engine to, to a little bit of momentum. Matthew Bazarin to our right here was hopping up and down like the Easter Bunny. Assuming Gus was going to put that home, but... I know. Keplinger. Can't win the draw. Yellow knee does. They'll maneuver this out. And a oh, big hit a big back in the play. Was that collision. Baker? It looks like. Baker and Ford were both back there as it's tipped into the zone. Around Amonatitis. Ford trying to muscle this free. Amonatitis takes a whack from Keplinger. Up and out of play. This should be delay of game. And there's like the signal. Power play for the birds. How's that for timing? I'm discussing it over at the box, but certainly looked to me, Peter, like that was not touched. I didn't see the breath. Well, now we're going to discuss things over in front of the box. If it is a penalty, Amonatitis, I think, would be the guilty party. So no power play? I guess not. Nope. And, uh, Interesting. And Carolina Bench is not pleased about it either. Fifteen, sixteen to go here in the second period. No power play for Carolina off of that. Peavy can't win the draw. Hussey diving to try and get it out, but it's held in by Bioni, who shoots it indirectly off the back wall. And is now cleared out by Hussey. All the way down, Firth is after it. Icing was waved off. Firth. Moves it ahead for Peavy. Now for Pringle. Back over for Bertita. Over the cleanest breakout of the night. Bertita centering it. Off a skate. Peavy had a Ooh. chance at it. And now it's whacked all the way out. And it'll go for Icing with 14.46 to go here in this second period. Best chance of the period right there for Carolina. And Hussey was able to make the stop. We head to a timeout. Watertown Wolves still lead the Carolina Thunderbirds. 3-1, to 14.46 to go here in our second period. We're back in 30 seconds. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. 
Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Peter, about the same start to this one, the second period as it was the first, and it's not one that's at all ideal for Carolina right now. Not the ideal, but uh, now we're getting a little bit of momentum, and we had a nice, nice chance right here. So hopefully, hopefully we can continue with it and get the get a goal and get tied with the World Cup. Barely held in by Bioni. He'll shoot one through traffic that Hussey's able to glove and settle down. Fourteen forty to go here in the second period. Watertown wins the draw. Baker can't keep it alive. It's moved ahead first in a foot race with Carter, and it's whacked up off the stick of Carter and out of play. Fourteen thirty-one to go here in this second period as Moscow Ooh. shoots it, hit the crossbar. A shot from Baker was blocked aside. Kepler, you're trying to get this out. Carter holds it in. Now maneuvered out by Bioni. Ahead for Ford. Dangles around, tried to drop it back for Bioni, but couldn't do it. What a shot by Moscow, though. As it's now picked off by Carter, moved ahead and out back of the goal. Keplinger trying to maneuver it out, picked off by Carter again and shoveled on goal. And Cavalier is able to make the stop. As now we will welcome Matthew Bazarin to the broadcast as we've acquired him a headset. As this we gotta be careful there. Moved ahead here and here we go. Welcome Baz. How you doing? See if we can change the mojo here with three guys on the broadcast. <laughs> Salak moves it deep back of the goal. Played over for Rowe. Rowe trying to skate after this. He'll backhand it out top for Kennedy. Banked off the leg of Rowe near side. He'll chisel it back of the goal for Salak. Salak on the loose puck. Drops it back for Pastuka. Pastuka pirouettes on the backhand. Banks it off the back of the goal to himself. Centers oh. it for Salak who shot it just wide. Great play by Pastuka. Salak picks this mm -hmm. off though. Trying to center that for Rowe. Couldn't get it to him. Here comes Amonititis. That's blocked by Salak. And he'll chisel it back up. Played down the ice. Should be an icing call, and it will be. It will be an icing call. 12.53 to go, and Martin is free from the box. There he is. Well, Baz, what do you see him so far from your perspective? Well, we're in their end a lot more than they're in our end, so that's looking good. We're bringing speed. We're bringing shots. It looks like we're coming back to becoming a good team here again. Peavy on the faceoff, wins it. Utita, Pringle, now Firth. Firth, one-timer Pinkowski set up for it, but he fanned on it. And now it's cleared out. Firth has to stick it down, and he'll hop back on this, back at his own end. Ahead for Pringle, to the middle for Peavy, back for Pringle, nearly picked off by Hussey. Pinkowski for Butita, he'll whack it in. Pringle hops on the loose puck, tried to center that for no one in particular, and it's banked out to the red line. Pinkowski. Backhand pass back for first. Over for Pinkowski. Has to take this in directly. Firth fumbles it back at his own end. He'll wire it up and around the wall. Peavy tried to get to this. Baker made that difficult. Lord shoots it back in deep. Firth is on it with 12 minutes to go here in the second. Pinkowski 
Trying to pirouette this out, moves it ahead for Pringle. Pass was blocked by Wilson, who shoots it back into the zone. Pinkowski plays it over for Firth. Firth flips a pass up, looking for Butita. He's on it. This line's Butita. This line's buzzing. This line's buzzing. This line's buzzing. Justin hey, Pringle! Hey, this, this line's been passing good all day. All day. You called it. All day. You called it. Yeah. Yeah. No, they've been they've been passing really good. They've been gelling all right. So, I mean, you get the tic tac toe going, you're gonna get in the back of the net, and that's exactly what happened with Justin Pringle there. Holy crap! What a play right there, Butita really made that happen on the near side. That was beautiful. Just a beautiful play right there. You said a tic tac toe. Yep. They've been gelling since the first period. So, I mean, don't break what's working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You stole yeah. my line, Baz. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. There's Mann. Over for Baker. Now Kennedy will move this up. Dawson Baker will take this indirectly off the wall. Or try to. It's picked off by Mann. Here's Carter. Poked free by Kennedy. Maneuvered out to center. Moscow shoots this in from the red line. Cavalieri will glove it down. Danny Martin back on the ice. Moves it ahead for Ford. That goal from Pringle, his sixth and his second in the last three games. Kevlinger's shot was blocked. Kennedy for Baker, back for Kennedy. Draws a couple of Watertown Wolves in, back of the goal forward. Trying to center it to the right for Kevlinger. He'll poke it out top for Martin. Look at this. Kennedy this through is, traffic. Is Baker tipped that, and now it's off a stick after the shot from Kevlinger. I believe that was Jinnerich that got some wood on that one up and into the netting out of play. Well, Peter, we got one player's perspective. What'd you see on that goal? Definitely got a momentum right now. You know, the, the goal was huge, and now the momentum switched to the, to the Thunderbird side, Dan which we've been waiting for for a while. It seems like the tide's really turning here, and you said this for at least the first half of the second period was going to be the difference, and it looks like a completely different team right now from what we saw even the first couple of minutes of the second period. Wilson has control off the faceoff. Oh, Trying nice to be picked off face. by Baker. Baker oh, rips one off the right crossbar. What a shot he has. Keplinger trying to chip that around. Wilson blows a tire trying to recover it, but it's going to be an icing call because Joe Kennedy is going to put it into fifth gear and win the race with 10.33 to go here. Boy, fellas, that was... If Baker's in the slot like that, you better watch out because he's, he's going to rip it. <clears throat> And Peter, you said how good a shot Josh Keplinger has. Baker just as good right there. When he's in the high slot like that, that's dangerous. Yeah, that's, that's his spot right there. <clears throat> 10.33 to go. Here in the second. Lord has it for Watertown, trying to shovel it out ahead for Wilson. And out comes Watertown. Wilson, high slot shot, blocker to side by Cavallari. Now a shot from the short side by Papandria, stopped by Cavallari. Keplinger banks this down the back of his own goal for Kennedy, who will start the engine up the ice. Kennedy dangles through a couple. Here comes Joe, trying to sh drop that back. But That's it was the Joe off. show. <clears throat> Here's Ford, speaking of shows. Gus Ford's got space to show off at center. Maneuvers his way in. Skates around a defender. Shoots mm -hmm. it off the side of the net. Gets control of it once again. Dangles around a man. Can he keep it alive? Not quite. Oh. I was trying to dump that in and row it and <laughs> duck for cover as it hit the stanchion. It bakes right in the hip. But Pandria moves into the zone. Delays. Shoots it through traffic. Oh, it's sticked up by Cavalier. Look out up in 216, up and out of play. That'll take us to a timeout. 9.29 to go here in the second. Carolina's got one of those back. They're looking for the equalizer here midway through our second period. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity.
inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. Hi, Peter. Hello. That's Matthew Bazarin. Hi, Matthew. What's up, party people? I'm Brett. You came here to hear them more than you came here to hear me. Logan Allen, oh. Jose Bahina, Gina Bahina, and Rick O'Neill, the radio guy. Oh, and Colby Cook also helping us out What's on up, the Colby? technical side of things. Colby's our newest member of the Thunderbirds media team. He's running the Twitterverse tonight. Different than the Metaverse, because that contains Facebook and Instagram. Twitterverse only has one of those. The guy who owns it also owns cars that fly. I mean, start themselves. <laughs> I don't think we're quite there yet. No, and no, I hope... If anybody can get us there, it's that guy. Okay, back to the matter at hand. 9.27 to go here. Dangerous shot in front. Now a backhander. Went high and wide off the stick of Don Carter. Firth trying to muscle this free. It's picked off by Carter. Trying to dangle around with Moscow. Good play there by Peavy. Held in at the point, though. McGuire held it in. Bioni spun over top of the puck. That was great, that was great patience by Bioni. Here's Peavy. Moving down the wall, pass hit a defensive stick. Gloved out of the air by McGuire. And now Rowe will come to it on the opposite side. Firth through traffic, looking for a tip from Salak, but he was tied up by McGuire. Rowe trying to feed that back out top. Picked off, Firth. Get back. And now Moskal shoots. Nice what save. a stop, Cavalier at the blocker. Moved ahead, two on one, oh, developing oh. Salak. Here comes Rowe, in all alone. Oh. No. Huffy stopped it. Oh my Good goodness. Saves Roe. on both sides. Both great saves on both sides. I will say, Roe does have an injured wrist. Maybe that's why he couldn't get it up there. <laughs> Still a great stop, though, by Hussey. Yeah. And a great opportunity as it's chiseled back out to center. Grabenikov takes a hit from Yellow Knee and gets it in deep. Hussey plays it over for Pins, banks it off the wall for Amonatitis. Indirectly, Monetitis shoots this up the length of the ice. Is it going to go on goal? No, it's an icing call. 7.58 to go now. Shots are even at 20. Ironically, that's Baz's number. There it is. 20's back in the lineup tomorrow. 20's back in the lineup tomorrow night, yeah. so he's getting his airtime in while he can. But yeah. uh, Peter, you'll be back with us tomorrow night, right? I'll be, maybe. If maybe. 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 We'll see about it. Get, getting the itch a little bit there? <laughs> Get him a contract. I should, I should get paid for this, honestly. Yeah, he needs a contract. I think Peter should receive some kind of compensation for the work he's done the past three games. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to stay here for a while. Pastuka. <laughs> Definitely a couple of weeks. Shoots it up <laughs> off the top of the wall. Butita trying to muscle this free. What a boy, Picked off nearly by Pringle. Pastuka hard work right there, and that's something, Peter, that you've talked about a ton is the work that Pastuka puts in day oh, in yeah, and day definitely. out. Oh yeah, definitely. He's uh, one of the hardest working working guys on the team for sure, so. Now Monetitis set one on goal. That was sticked aside by Cavallari. <clears throat> and a lot of these chances, guys, for Watertown, they're not exactly direct, but they're still dangerous. Here's Pringle. Hopping on it, throws it down below, back below the goal line. Butsita, out top, Kennedy, sets up, shoots it through traffic. That missed just high. That was a laser beam from the right point. Yellow knee for Baker. Hits the skate of Pastuka, who has to, was going off for a change, but it hit his skate, so he's got to play it. As now Butita blocks a clearance attempt That's and shovels stick. it back down, and it's played by a high stick. That was odd, but if Pastuka chose not to play that, it could have been much worse. Yeah, but there was there was still not be any any guys on the ice, so definitely not too many people on the ice. Yeah, smart. Nobody changed there. Keplinger plays it back for Martin. Back over for Furt. D to D for Martin. Chips it ahead for Ford. Ford dangles around a man, sends it over Pringle or Keplinger, I should say. Shoots. Another beautiful save. Holy. Hussey's made a series <laughs> of great stops. Uh, just in the last couple of minutes alone here, Peter. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Big bringing him back for the for the Wartown Walls, and uh, he he made a couple good saves this, this evening for sure. Six forty three to go here in our second period. Three to two, the Watertown Wolf lead. Keplinger 
Cannot win the draw. It's played back for Jennerich. Chisels it out. Moved ahead. Here's Carter trying to get this free off the wall. Firth banks it out to the neutral zone. Pens shoots it into the zone. Cavalieri will glove it and set it aside for Firth. Firth delaying in his own end. Moves it ahead for Martin. Martin hits the red line. Tried to chip it in deep. Keplinger couldn't get a stick to it. Picked off by Moskal with man to his left. Moskal maneuvers his way around Martin. Moskal in front. Man stopped by Cavallari. Carter drops it back for Mann. Now back over for Carter. Out top Baker for Pens. Down the near side. Moskal trying to maneuver this in front as a Thunderbird hit the deck. And that's Firth, I believe. Yeah. Sorry, Parko. And now he's got another Thunderbird down. Suggest for it. Might be a skate. Might have a skate issue. Might have a skate blade issue. Yeah. That's what it looked like. Yeah. As he's headed straight off to the room to get that skate serviced <coughs> with a 5:50 to go. Shots are now 23-21 in favor of Watertown. As the five Thunderbirds on the ice discuss things a little bit. Rowe set to take the draw. Opposite Horn. One by Horn. Down the wall by Baker. Bioni trying to shovel this out. Yellow knee fanned on a one timer. And Salak cops on this. Moves it ahead for Rowe. Takes the hit to make the play. Here's Rowe. Maneuver again. Shoots. Scores! We are tied! Hey, hey, let me tell you something about Lucas Rowe, man. That guy comes and he comes to play. Doesn't he missed. Matter. He missed on the breakaway earlier. He didn't miss that time. It doesn't matter if he's injured. He'll shoot that puck top left every time. That's amazing to watch. Lucas Rowe to the rescue to tie this game up at three with 5.35 to go. Peter, what'd you see right there? The score is not how to, sh how to score. Lucas Rowe's got a definitely great shot, and he knows how to find a position to score, so... Now we got an even game, and this, that's what we wanted to see, and uh, definitely momentum on the Thunderbird side now. Peavy's going to win the race for this loose puck to nullify the icing. Lucita tried to shovel it in front. Picked off at center. Now the crowd is more than back into it. Played around the wall. Pens hops to this, chased by Pringle. Wilson can't get it out. Peavy holds it in. Pringle. Hit from behind by Jinnerich, keeps it alive. Four-man scrum back of the goal. Whacked out, Bioni trying to dive to keep that in the zone, but cannot. Kennedy plays this away from a four-checking Lord. Peavy through the skates of Bioni, and Pringle will get it in deep. Jinnerich out to center. Martin sticks this down on top of the Wake Forest logo. And that's picked off by Hussey, who tries to drop it back. Held in at the point by Jitterich, who shoots it high and wide. Hussey hops back on it. PB muscles that free from him for the moment. And now Martin will hop on this. Martin maneuvers it up and out. Oh, there it is. Get a boot at center, and now Butita will shovel it in deep. Jitterich trying to get it out. Around Keplinger, Grabenikov nope. just barely with uh, Butita touching on side, shoots it on goal, and a love save made. 4 11 to go here in our second period. And the Thunderbirds have come all the way back to tie this one up at three apiece. We're back in 30 seconds. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. 
Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. That's Matthew Bazarin. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter was just giving Baz color analyst advice, which was well received. I thought we were going to have to drop him right here. <laughs> See, next Peter's just going to have to give me play by play advice. Yeah, yeah, no. Three. Kennedy near side trying to work this out. Papandria. Now Mann will hold it into the point. Shoot it back of the goal. Far side. Grabenikov can't get it free. Here's Mann trying to trickle that one on goal. It comes free for Carter down below the goal line. Trying to bank that around a couple. It comes free to Dawson Baker. Stretches it ahead for Keplinger. 3.20 left in the second. Keplinger delaying down the near side. Plays it around Papandria. Keplinger back of the goal on the backhand. Bioni was pinching and Keplinger was trying to throw it out to him at the point. So Bioni will have to back trap. Kennedy's pass picked off at center, but Ford's able to muscle it free. Stick handle around a couple. Divert the attention and move it ahead for Keplinger, who dangles around Papandria. Keplinger shoots, and Hussey got a piece of it. Starting the engine down the far side is Moskal. He'll get it in deep. That's Lord, I should say. Bioni moves it ahead for Martin. And now Ford trying to get that free at center. Pens will chase after this. Ford... Trying to pinch there near side, couldn't get a handle on it. Bioni plays this around Hussey with two and a half to go. Shots are 33 or 25-23, I should say, in favor of Carolina, who has iced the puck with 2.25 to go here in the second period. Tied up, 3-3. Three, three. Got a barn burner brewing here, boys. Comes out of the zone. McGuire will have to play it back for his defensive partner, Pins, who gets the red line and gets it in deep. Cavallari plays this indirectly for Martin. Moves it ahead. Salak got a touch to it. it. Won't go far enough for icing anyways. McGuire. This is t touched in by Lord. Nope, he didn't get a piece of it. Icing call with 2.01 to go here in the second. So, Peter, what do you draw up here? Offensive zone draw towards the end of the period. What are you drawing up on that dry erase board over there? Well, when I, when I, when I go take a draw, it all the, all the time depends on who you go against. You know, you, 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 during the game, you, you find the guys who is, you know, like a little bit easier maybe to win on your backhand, on your forehand. So, you go to the, you, you go there, you see, you see who you go against, and then you decide what, what play you're gonna do. Pastukas holds this in off the tie-up that Rowe was in off the face-off. Pastuka trying to bank that off the back of the goal. Taken by Lord off the turnover. Lord will get it out. Wilson bothered by Pastuka at center. Maneuvers it ahead. Rowe's got it here with a two-on-one developing. Rowe trying to feed it over for Pastuka who had to drag that back foot to stay on side. Oh. Shot from the point deflected by Rowe just wide. Grabenikov is the one that sent it on. Now a Wolf blows a tire, it's Pins. Here's Rowe, working his way, centers and Salak oh. shot it on. Hussey made a sprawling stop. That was a beautiful pass by Lucas Rowe. Unfortunately, it didn't go in. Minute 19 to go here in the second. Grabenikov battling with Hussey. He'll send him to the ice. Kennedy moves it ahead for Rowe. Rowe takes a whack from behind, gets it in deep. Salak hops on the loose puck, shoulders a man off. And cleared up and out. And with a minute to go here in the second, Martin, D to D for Kennedy. Moves it ahead, Butita touches it ahead nicely for Pringle. Amonitidis trying to work this out, and he does over the stick of yellow knee taken by Kennedy. Whack down at center, but Butita hops on it. Amon and Titus read that play as Butita was looking for Peavy. 30 seconds left here in the second. Martin maneuvers it out. Here comes Blake Peavy. Drops it back for Pringle. Pringle oh, leveled by Amon and Titus. 
as Papandria stick lifted from behind. Amonatitis hops on it, and he'll throw it in deep with 20 seconds left. Played ahead by Kennedy to Butita. Butita cross side, Martin hops on it. Skates below the goal line with 10 seconds. Out top, looking for Kennedy, tipped. Kennedy did not hold it in, it goes off the stanchion. And with two and one in the second, that will do it for 40 minutes of play. But a much different story much than different it was story. after 20 minutes of play, Peter. Definitely a different story. I'm glad we, we, we find a way twice and uh, the game is even and we got a 20 minutes left in the game and I'm wondering what's going to happen. Be back to break down this second period and get you some scores from around the FPHL and of course the one that everyone's keeping an eye on at Danbury Columbus Showdown up in the state of Connecticut. We'll update you on that. We'll break down the second period and get you set for period number three. We're tied up 3-3 as we head towards period number three. We'll be back to break all that down, get you scores from around the league and more after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher, pushing further, achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with 4Motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at FlowVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. Back here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panacek. I'm Brett Wiseman. Special thanks to Matthew Bazarin for hopping on the broadcast with us. He was a fine guest, but the star of the show, that would be you, Peter Panacek. Much better second period for Carolina. Much better second period. Much better. The start was a little bit slowly, but then uh, then we find a, find a back of the net twice, and uh, we got a game on again. And you can see when Carolina finds their game, as they did there in that second period, 
it doesn't just have to be hemming teams in on the forecheck. It could be clean breakouts and goals like the one Justin Pringle scored right off the rush. Yeah, but you can see like how how, how things can change with the with the goal. You know, like the momentum was definitely on our on our side after after we scored a goal, and uh, we are on a horse now. You know, you scored two goals, you are on a horse. Watertown maybe now be a little bit you know little hold, holding a little bit back. So it's definitely momentum on our side, and uh, hope, hopefully we can. Uh, we can uh, take advantage on it in the third, third again, period. You want to get their defense to turn around a little bit. You're not, Carolina's maybe not getting the elongated forecheck and offensive zone time that they want to get, but this is a team that knows how to adapt to certain things. Yeah, if they you are score Carolina, two goals off the rush, they know they can score off the rush if they have to. Yeah, if, like our, our, our forwards are definitely skilled and fast, so you, you, you definitely want to play with the puck. You don't want to chase it, and uh, you, you could see like when we, when, when we had a position in the zone, we start cycling around, passing each other. That's where we are dangerous, so hopefully we will continue with it and uh, can uh, score a couple goals. As we said, it was kind of an inauspicious start uh, to this second period, but shots, the first five of which in the period came from Carolina, uh, then two from Watertown, but just about a minute and a half apart. Finally, eight minutes and 14 seconds, excuse me, into that second period, Justin Pringle. Yeah, but then, then we had the two, two breakaways. Right. The first one on the, on the Watertown, Watertown side. And those were two huge saves. This could be 4-4 yeah. four, four right now if it wasn't for those. Yeah, exactly, but you know, great save by the uh, Mario, and uh, on the other side we could see great save by the Watertown goalie. So definitely, definitely, Shout out to, to both goalies. Both goalies have been. They've had to make some huge saves. And as much of a goal fest as this might seem at this point, shots 27-23 were tied at three. Both Mario Cavallari and Brendan Hussey on the other side have been spectacular. Yeah, a lot of shots. A lot of shots going on in that. Uh, Watertown goalie is definitely uh, helping, helping him out a lot. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the next, next period. But 27, 23 shots after two periods is a lot. And no penalties uh, in that second period either. Carolina, of course, converted on their only power play opportunity of the night. That coming in the first period. Uh, but Rose goal at 14-30 is the one that tied it up 3-3. And then from that point on, Carolina didn't do what they did if they scored the first goal. If you look at the shot counter right now on the stat sheet, didn't do what they did the first time. They stayed on the gas pedal. Yeah, 100%. That's what I'm saying. The momentum is on our side, and it's always like mental. It, it, it will always hype you up, you know, when you're playing and you know you, know you got a moment too, it always lets you go in. But on the other side, when you, you are up 3-1, now it's 3-3 it gets you a little bit down, you know. It depends how, how strong you are in a, in a, in a head, and uh, it's, it's a very important fact of the, heck of the game. And from a Watertown perspective here, mentally, yeah, that, that, that has an impact, certainly, but from the Carolina perspective, you feel like you have all the momentum. You've got to floor the gas pedal now. Oh, 100%, 100%. You know how I said, two, two big goals, now you are a 3-3 game, you are playing home, you got a big crowd, so that momentum is definitely on your side. But how I said always, the first five minutes on the third period is going to dictate the, the rest of the period. When we come back, we'll take you for a spin around the FPHL, and then we'll dive more into what's to come in this third period. That's Peter Panagic. I'm Brett Wiseman. We'll be back with more on our second intermission report right after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Hey, you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media. Broadcast in arena signage, and more. Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. 
Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation, and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru, and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Back here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Podachik. Good I'm, evening. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, same story as when we last left Danbury. one nothing. Uh, four minutes and ten seconds into that third period. It's very interesting. Not a lot of goals. I was expecting maybe a little bit more a goal fest. But Danbury, Danbury plays a lot of, lot of system. You know, like always when we played in Denver, it was tough to play them because they, they get ready. You know, they watch the video, they they uh, they make sure they know how to how to defend. You know, your break breakouts and everything. So, yeah, one zero game. We'll see what's going to happen next. Right, you said it. They prepare so well, but they also play so well systematically, not just through the neutral zone or in their own end. They play a full two hundred foot game. Oh yeah, especially in a D, D zone. It was always it, it was always tough to play Denver. You know, they always get ready for us. No matter this year, but even in the previous years, you know, like I know that their coach is is very good in a in a system, and it, he demands it from the players. So he definitely was was getting ready for Columbus, and now we can see the result. You know, one one zero game. It's very defensive game, but the shots are twenty six twenty for uh, Denbury. So twenty six twenty. You said Danbury yeah. shots there. It's uh, was still one nothing, four and a half into that third period. Things have escalated to say the least. Up in Binghamton, it's now 7-2. to two. The Black Bears have kicked the extra point uh, on the power play they did. Donald Olivieri uh, from Gavin Yates and Tyler Urich, that made it 7-3 to three, uh, at 12-17 of the third after Urich made it 6-2 at 10-59. At so 7-2 the score there, uh, 15 minutes and 41 seconds into the third period. So all over but the shouting, and it looks like Delaware headed for consecutive loss yeah. number 28. Different story though in Elmira. Four to two is our score there. Motor City out shooting Elmira 40 to 19. That's a lot. But Thomas Proudlock is doing all he can to keep the Elmira Mammoth in it. Uh, they trail though by two. Shots were 18 8 in the first period, Motor City. 17 7 in the second. Wow. 5 4 here in the third. Uh, but we stand 4 2 as we did uh, at the end of two. Derek Makama at 17.52 of that second period with the previous goal. And that's where we stand nine minutes into that third period, Peter. Yeah, like the game is still on, you know, two goal lead. It's a lot, but it's it's not. You know, it only takes one, one shot, one goal, and uh, you can have a little bit drama. But like the shots speaking for itself, but I feel like Motor City should, should hand, handle this game. Motor City again trying to gain uh, a game in hand or a couple points in hand on an idle third place Port Huron as they said just a few points back of the Prowlers in fourth in the Continental Division. When we come back we'll break down what's to come here in this third period. That's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. Be back with more after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic looking performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. 
Visit us at 425B Silas Creek Parkway in Winston-Salem for a test drive or shop online at flowacura.com. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with four-motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at flowvolkswagenwinstonsalem.com. To use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Whether you're a Division I athlete, an avid runner, or just someone who likes to move, you deserve the expert care of the region's most experienced sports medicine team. We're the official health provider for over 35 pro, collegiate, and youth sports organizations. We offer same and next day appointments, and our goal is to get you back to your game and keep you active. If you want to finish strong, start here. Atrium Health, Wake Forest Baptist. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Back here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. That's Peter Panachik. I'm Brett Wiseman. Peter, assuming more of the same to come here in this third period. Again, got to try and stay on the gas. Watertown's going to try and get some of that momentum back. You would think Carolina's got to keep it in their favor. Yeah, definitely. We could see different Thunderbirds than in the first period, which you can, you can see on the results. And uh, I, uh, hopefully our guys will, will continue with the, with the effort they provide in the last 10 minutes and uh, play, play the same type of game. Again, the last two goals really came off the rush, but also came off probably two of the cleaner breakouts we've seen out of the defensive zone tonight. That has to be MO number one, not hold on to the puck so long at the opposite end of the ice. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you are D, your job is to give it to the first first, first forward, and jo your job is done. And that's how we scored two goals from the rush. And uh, shout, shout out to, to both guys for a good shot. Again, maybe not the way that Carolina has been scoring of recently, but if you can't hem the other team in, you know you can score off the rush. You know you've got the ability. Yeah, to do definitely. It. And you get a players who know how to shot and how, know how to score a goal. So we definitely need to start using it more and uh, put put more packs on the net. And as we've seen, uh, at least the top two lines for Carolina, uh, just uh, all three lines really starting to come together down the back half of that second period. Yeah, definitely. Like uh, I said, uh, the, the guys started start showing up uh, compared to first period when it was basically that. So. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can see the same birds in the third period, and uh, hopefully uh, we will. We will, and uh, yep. Hopefully, three points go Carolina's way at the end of the night. That's Peter Panacic. I'm Brett Wiseman. We'll be back with the third period after this. This is Thunderbirds hockey. Hey, you can expect more. More days ahead, thanks to the first in our region to use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Are you looking to reach a larger audience with your business? Bring your business where the people are. There are multiple ways to advertise with the Carolina Thunderbirds. Social media. Broadcast in arena signage, and more. 
Over 47,000 people attended Thunderbirds games in 2021-22. Can you really afford to miss out on an audience of that size? The eyes and ears are already here. Your business should be too. Call Kerry Ross at 336-270-1029 for more information. Experience engineering excellence in a brand new SUV from Audi Winston-Salem. The Audi SUV family is packed with expressive styling and progressive technology. Make your daily drive thrilling with the performance of the Audi Q3. Take on new challenges with class and style in the adventurous Audi Q5. Come in today and get 3.99% APR on select Audi models. Schedule a test drive or shop online at AudiWinstonSalem.com. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. After 15 years of the Share the Love event, Subaru and our retailers have donated over $250 million to charity. Subaru is the largest corporate donor to the ASPCA and the National Park Foundation and the largest automotive donor to Meals on Wheels and Make-A-Wish. Get a new Subaru and Subaru and our retailers will donate $300 to charity. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church. John Brett Wiseman and off the faceoff. Pinballing puck around Hussey will shoot this on goal from the blue line and it's stopped by Cavallari. Just eight seconds into our third period here, Peter. Oh. Oh, be careful there. And oh, a shot on that, that was the one wide open guy. Yeah, Wilson, I believe, was the one that was open right we there. We got very the lucky there. Keplinger moves it ahead. Baker skates around Grabenikov, streaking down the far side. He'll stop up. Baker maneuvers it out top. Kennedy plays it back over for Grabenikov. Trying to go down low through the legs of Keplinger. Jinerich hops on it. Head for Wilson. Oh, it was a big hit. Jinerich was something. leveled by Baker. Big time hit right there. Here's Ford, trying to dangle around a couple. Pass was blocked, Ford can't work it free. Wilson trying to move it ahead, picked off alertly by Gravenikov as Lord was streaking behind. Ford with a minute gone by here in this third period. Skates up the near side, drops it back for Pastuka. Pastuka on the backhand, shoots it. Hussey made the save. Pastuka got the rebound on goal as well. Carter has it in the corner. Kennedy. Trying to work this free. Carter banks it up the wall and out. Mann trying to work around Salak. Here comes Mann in on goal. Shoots it off the pad of Cavallari. Martin moves it ahead for Rowe. Now up for Keplier. Or excuse me, Pastuka couldn't get a handle on it. Played ahead now, Pastuka. Back of the goal. Salak plays it over. Here's Rowe. Out top of the high slot. Shoots that on and the pad stopped by Hussey. A a nice stick by Danny Martin. Yeah, good stick right there by Danny. You said it, Peter. 17.45 to go, Salak can't work that free, it's tipped in deep, Pens chasing after this, 17.40 to go in regulation, as this one sent the length of the ice, Grabenikov's in a foot race for it, he'll win it with 17.33 to go here in regulation. And what's shaping up to be one heck of a third period. 
as we'll welcome Mr. Bazarin back to the broadcast booth. There it is. It was good luck when he was up here last time, so. That's what, that's what I was thinking. Why would, why, why would we break the mojo? Yeah. It was 17 and a half to go in regulation. Rabenikoff wires this in from the point. It ends up on goal. Hussey sticks it down. Peavy whacked up in the corner by Pins. Pringles trying to muscle this free. Butita tried to shovel it out top. And it's cleared out by the Wolves. Rabenikoff at center. Bake pass for Butita. He'll maneuver it in deep. Pens works it up the wall. Jinerich out to center. Grabenikoff is after it. He'll bank it in deep. Butita's after it. Pens skating back ahead for Horn. Moved ahead. Here's Papandria. Cross ice him on a Titus. Shoots. Glove save. Cavalieri. Good alert stop right there by Cavallari. And one of those plays where, yeah, might have been going high, but better safe than sorry to glove that down and get the whistle. 16.45 to go here in regulation. Danny Martin goes down the length of the ice. And that's going to be an icing call on him with 16.40 to go now. Tied up, 3-3 shots are 30-26. A lot of shots, a lot of shots this game. In favor of Carolina. And Peter, you and I talked about it. This game would be a lot different than just 3-3 if it weren't for the goaltending on both 100%, sides. 100%, 100%. Both, both, both goaltenders on both sides doing a great job today. Sent down the length of the ice. This might be another icing call, and it will be on Carolina with just 11 seconds off the clock after that. As Ford, Keplinger, Baker, Kennedy, and Martin... That's a dangerous line right there. They're going to have to stay out. Fortunately, they weren't on for quite that long before that, so it's not too long a shift for them, but I'm sure they'd like to get off at some point. Martin works it ahead. Here's Dawson Baker shouldering off a defender. Moves it back down below the goal line all the way around the dasher behind the net. Hussey hops on this loose puck after it was worked free from Keplinger. Wilson takes the hit, but it's held in by Keplinger, who shoots one from the point. That one was blocked in front by Hussey. Martin sticks out of the air by Baker, and now that keeps it alive. Keplinger trying to maneuver it out top and hit a skate of a Watertown Wolf and comes out of the zone. Martin heads up the wing, dangles in front. Danny Martin, couple of nice moves, tried to center it, but it's blocked by a Watertown Wolf, and out comes Wilson with Keplinger back. Wilson around him, off the back wall. Ooh, Banked on goal, bounce. Cavallari, after a funky bounce off the back wall, has to come out and scoop that up. And that's a good play right there by Cavi to alertly stick that down. Yeah, 100%, the, the, guys, the guys had a long shift, so you know you, you put a fresh body on the ice and uh, calm the things down. Sometimes you have to force the whistle when you can. 15.34 to go. Off the face off, Bioni's able to get it off the tie up. Pastuka for Grabenikov. Here's Victor down the near side, watched by Pens. Victor keeps the play alive. Pastuka Ooh, dangles it through. Beautiful and move. Oh Bionis. my goodness. How did that stay out? Salak's back on it. Salak maneuvers in front. It was poked wide. Pastuka back out top. Grabenikov, Bioni fakes it, tries to shoot it through traffic. Bioni's able to kneel to keep it alive, but it comes out to center. Pastuka will backhand it in deep. Hussey's out of his goal to play it. Pens. Back of the goal ahead, McGuire. Skates out to center, gets the red line, but it's picked off by Bioni. Looking for a breakout partner, and said he'll drop it off for Martin. For Rowe. Backhanded in deep. Salak's after it. Yellow knee. Back for McGuire. Sent out to center. Bioni hops on it. He's got the red line. Cross-side speed for Butita. 
Drops it back for Pringle. Trying to dangle around Yellow Knee. Pringle back on the loose puck. Going out top for Bioni. Bioni banks it down low below the wall. Good play for Butita, who tried to go back for Bioni, but it was picked off. Martin. Down the near side of the wall, one on two. They able to keep it alive. Martin for Kennedy. Cross ice feed, looking for Peavy, who shoulder down. Loose Ooh. puck, Pringle. Couldn't get it to his stick cleanly enough. He's got it now, though. Trying to shoot it on the backhand, and Hussey works it on goal. And it makes the save. 13.50 to go here in regulation, and it's our first timeout of the third period. We're still tied 3-3 between the Carolina Thunderbirds and the Watertown Wolves. And we're back in 30 seconds. The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile turbo. Inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, that's Peter Panachik, that's Matthew Bazarin, I'm Brett Wiseman. They know a lot more about hockey than I do. Yeah, so Brett, definitely, definitely a different Thunderbirds than we saw in the first period. Well, now you can see we play with the puck, we play with the speed, and we're getting more chances. Granted, I do know some, or else I wouldn't be here, but, you know. These two guys have played for a long time. And that's why they're up here, providing their insight. You're back on the ice tomorrow night, Baz, when your sentence is up. Peter's still... It's been a long three games, I'll tell you that. Peter's going to be up here for a couple more nights. So he's 100% again. PB. By the way, Blake PB is one of the best, best guys on the, on the face-offs. He is able to win it once it's dropped. Oh, yeah. Butita works it low. PB going to work it free from Jinerich. Now ahead for Lord. He whacks it out to center. Hops over the stick of Morton. Banks it off the wall. Hussey was offside. So we'll have to touch back up. Martin around Hussey. Around Wilson. Maneuvers it into the middle for Peavy. And a whistle. Carolina was offside. And with 13.27 to go in regulation. Well, if anyone here in Winston-Salem was complaining about the cold... Imagine what Watertown just came from, where it's 13 below zero. That's terrible. I feel sorry for the folks in Watertown. With how many inches of snow? I lost count. Yeah. Or at least the Watertown play-by-play -play man, Jeff Barrett, that texted me, I believe, lost count of how much snow is going on up there. Here's oh. Carter maneuvering it in on goal, chiseled wide, and now shot from the short side. Another one of those short side slap shots that Watertown's taken. A Cavalier was able to get to. Pringle maneuvers it out from Martin. Martin hops back on it and dumps it in. Pins, backhanded around the wall. Pringle kicked that loose. Pins, maneuvering it out top, held in by Martin. Through traffic on goal. And Pringle tried to get a tip to it, was tied up by McGuire. And Hussey made the glove stop. 12.46 left in regulation. Keplinger will take the draw. Baker to his left, four to his right. Won by Watertown and moved up by Baker. And now Lord will backhand flip this up and it will stay in play. Looked like it might go out of play. Pinkowski's in a battle for this at the wall. Ford maneuvers it ahead for Baker. Now for Keplinger with speed. Keplinger down the near side. Hip checked, but he shakes it off. Tried to center it. It was blocked. Keplinger. 
in a battle for it near side. Good work by him. Out top, Grabenikov. Back for Keplinger. Keplinger shoots that on goal. Tipped off the stick of McGuire and into the catching glove of Hussey with 12-16 remaining here in regulation. Right, I have to say I really like the way how this line plays. You know, with the uh, uh, Gus Ford there, uh, Bakes and Copes. Those guys, those, those guys, gonna, they, they can find each other. They, they all have a good shot. They know how to play hockey. It's really fun, fun to watch them. And it doesn't really matter what part of the ice they're on either when they're out there together. It doesn't even matter whether it's Kepler or Ford that's in there to take the draw. They just have that instinctive connection. Yeah. Martin holds us in off the faceoff win from Keplinger. Ford, one on two. Amon and Titus on the near side. Wall trying to bank it out. Baker got a piece of that to keep it in the zone, but now it's broken out by Watertown. Here's Amon and Titus moving around Kennedy. Backhander on goal, stopped by Cavallari. And no further play with exactly 12 minutes to go in regulation. So we're seeing a lot of catch and hold from both these goaltenders and what's been a busy night for both of them here in this third period. Yeah. Keplinger off the faceoff win for Carolina. Ford plays it up. Here. Couldn't quite get it going though. Pens picks it off. Cross ice. And Carter will maneuver it over for Pens. This one off the stick of Dawson Baker in back of the goal. Martin backhanded around the dasher looking for Kennedy. Now shot through traffic by a Watertown Wolf and a moved out by Keplinger with numbers. Here's Ford. Drops it for Kennedy. Kennedy shoots. Hussey mm. made the stop and Baker hard charging at the net nope. is involved with man. That was a dangerous shot. You could see the goalie was a little bit sliding with, with, a, with a shot because he was expecting to maybe a pass to Gasford. Yeah, I think he was. It looked like yeah, he was yeah, leaning yeah. a little so bit So it was a very dangerous side. shot, and now we got uh, something now going on Dawson here. Baker's going to get a penalty here. What is going to be for? Two minutes. For attack. I don't know what he said, but he might have said something. Well, now we have a power play full of walls. Unsportsmanlike conduct, was that the call there? It looks like. Yeah, that's what that T means. So that's one of the not smart penalties. And Baker's not happy about it. He must have said something. Who knows? Eleven twenty-six to go here in regulation. And this is a huge, huge moment in the game. Yeah, you're right, this Peter. Is a this huge is a moment turning in the game. point potentially. We got a Blake PV there, Bioni, Salak, and a Grebenikov for the Thunderbirds. Fourth power play of the night for Watertown. They're 0 for three thus far. Rugby scrum back of the goal. Grebenikov tried to maneuver this out. Held in, Lord banks it down below the goal line. Bioni, Ooh. pass was blocked by Horn, and now just barely could not be held in by Lord, who goes cross ice for McGuire, was watched by Peavy. Head now for Carter. Carter back in his own end, moves this ahead for McGuire. McGuire down the far side of wing, gets it in deep. All the way around the dasher. Horn is blasted by Grabenikov. Pens holds it in for the moment. PV dropped to a Good knee and gets that one out. Right there. The key is to not let them set up, which we're doing perfectly for now. Salak did a good job of making life difficult there at center. Carter maneuvers around Grabenikov. Carter. It's a good job by PV staying with him there. One minute kill, the one to go. Moskal out top in the high slot, dangles around one. To the right side of McGuire. Watched by a pinching Bioni. Here's Moscow through traffic. Blocked in front by Grabenikov. Horn is on it. Poked free by Grabenikov. And Salak could not whack it out. Held in on the wall. McGuire looking for Lord. But couldn't get the pass. Bioni may have gotten a piece of the pass. And now shovels Lord into the boards. Lord keeps it alive. Carter cross ice speed picked off by Bioni and now backhanded out. Now we can change, change the line. 945 to go in regulation. 20 seconds on the Watertown power play. 
Yellow knee lost the handle on it. Cleared all the way down by Pastuka. 10 seconds. Moscow will try and get one last rush here. Over That's a great, for Wilson. great penalty kill by. Uh, by Penalty's Alton. over. Great penalty kill by Carolina. As now it's stick is lifted. And it does come out of the zone. Carolina had numbers the other way, though. Yeah, this is worked free by Pasuka. Butita will hop on it. Here's Butita back of the goal. Slams on the brakes. Maneuvers around and throws it back out to the point for Martin. Martin now back all the way around the wall, away from Butita. Yellow knee will have it come free to him. Banks it back over for Moskal. Moscow on the backhand is able to get it out. And this should go the length of the ice for icing. Oh, that was a touch by Danny And no, it was Dan Danny did touch it. You're right, Peter. Good catch. 8.49 left. Tipped into the zone now. Baker picked off at center by Keplinger. But Baker was still in the zone. Drops it for Kennedy. Kennedy maneuvers around him on a Titus. Keplinger's able to get it deep as far as his own blue line. As it's now chipped down the ice. It hit the skate of Amana Titus. So no icing. 8.29 left in regulation. Here's Martin. Works it up. Keplinger plays it ahead for Martin. Martin drops it off for Rowe. Trying to get it to his stick from behind him. But he couldn't quite get a clean enough handle on it. Keplinger. Watched by Carter. He'll drop it back for Martin. Played back over for Kennedy. Ahead for Keplinger. Trying to touch this in. Instead of work around. Keplinger. Shouldering off a defender. Shoots! Hussey made the stop. Kennedy from out top of the dot. Skates down low. Back of the goal, Kennedy. Takes the hit. Works it loose. Baker. A big hit by Kennedy in the corner right there. Out top. Held in, though, by Rowe. Picked off by Carter. Watched by Baker. Out comes Carter. Shoulder by Rowe. By Here comes Amana Titus. That shot was blocked, and it broke Kennedy's stick in the process. Man, you love to see that. Lucas Rowe using his body. Here comes Martin with a puck. Martin for Baker. Shoots! Hussey made the stop. Thunderbirds really starting to utilize their speed here. And that's some shenanigans right there in front of the net. I believe that's Keplinger that's conversating with someone. Martin was involved as well, but no harm, no foul. 7.25 to go here in regulation. Carolina and Watertown still tied at three. We're back in 30 seconds. Use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand 24-7. More freedom, thanks to the one and only place around to provide a brain surgery so advanced it requires no incision. Novant Health. Expect Remarkable. Here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. Not the only tight game going on in the FPHL. Columbus and Danbury are now in overtime and outed up at one apiece, Peter. One apiece, we got overtime. Let me try to find out the game. See, that's why it's good to also have extra guys on the broadcast that aren't helping out on the technical <laughs> side, but, you know. Big thanks to our technical crew, though, as always. Logan Allen's operating the camera. Colby Cook is operating the Twitterverse. Gina Mahina's operating the video board in the arena. And her brother, Jose, is operating the technical graphic-y clicky thingies. That's, that, that's the industry term, by the way, as this puck is iced by Watertown with 7.12 to go in regulation. Peavy, Pringle, Butita, Ford, and Grabenikov. So four forwards and a D, and Peavy to take the draw. Tied up, Peavy's able to work it loose. Grabenikov, cross point for Pringle. No, I don't think, I didn't look like that came out. Maybe it did. Well, it might be a little. Crowd doesn't like it. That was right on the line. A little close to call there. Boss, 10 seconds for station identification. This is Thunderbirds Hockey.
has it off the draw. Wilson shoots it in on goal, and Cavalieri will play it safe and kill the play. As Bioni and a Wolf were shouldering each other behind the net. Six fifty-seven to go here in regulation. And they're three minutes into that overtime period in Danbury. 248, I should say, still tied. Carolina wins the draw. To his knees goes Grabenikov. It's worked up and out. Putita's after the loose puck. Shoots this on goal short side. Hussey made the save and is eventually able to collect what was a juicy rebound in front with Pringle and Peavy on their horses, respectively, streaking in to try and make a play on it. 646 to go here in regulation. And Columbus just scored a goal. Columbus, Columbus in overtime. In overtime, man. They yep. get the winner two to one. Is the final the there. More important matters to attend to here as that one has now ended. But it's a good thing because they split the points. Which is what we wanted to happen. That's what you've been talking about, the 2-1 game in overtime. Rowe shoots it wide, indirectly off the back wall. Held in at the point by Ford nicely. Here's Ford for Rowe. Oh. What's over? Score! Lucas Rowe for the lead! Oh, that was gorgeous! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Not starting with Ford and keeping that in. Kept it in, used his body. And Got again, Peter, Peter, that's something we talk about with Gus. He's so sneaky, physical, and can make plays like that. Oh, 100%. He, like, he, he has his, his head up, and he saw Lucas wide open, and this guy doesn't miss when he's got a chance like that. Wow. Rose, second of the night. His 24th of the season. 6.20 to go. Shots are 40-30, and it's a 4-3 Thunderbirds lead. That was massive. That was massive. And it, the goal was coming in. It was, it was coming. We were playing so good last last uh, five, ten minutes. And uh, let's see now. McGuire back of the goal. What a comeback, though. Baker now three on two, developing four. Oh, what a pass. Shoots. Oh, what a pass by Baker indeed. Keplinger after the shot was wide from Ford. Off the back wall. Ford hopping on the attack here. Far side. Trying to muscle this free out of the scrum. Baker leveled up. Keplinger trying to work it free. <laughs> As Baker and I believe that was Hussey were involved. Hussey's stick exploded. Yeah, so did his helmet. Dumped in by Martin at the red line with 5.25 to go. Baker levels the man back of the goal. That was the other Baker as Lord will maneuver it out. Picked off by Martin. He'll start the engine up the near side. Martin shoots it on goal. Hussey made the stop. Banked off the wall. Out into the high slot though. Keplinger's pass was blocked by Amana Titus. Now Keplinger will drop it back for Kennedy. Five minutes to go. Kennedy. Gates past the red line, one on two, he'll get it in deep. Hussey will play it away for Pens as they'll try and get that wayward stick out of the way. Control regained at center by Kennedy, he'll chip it in deep. Hussey plays it up the wing. Yellow knee, watched by a four-checking Pringle, drops it back for Pens. Up ahead looking for Lord. He never got it, and it will come on goal. Cavalieri will play it, make the stop. 4.28 oh. to go here in regulation. Deep breath, because there's an attack coming from Watertown. 4.28 to go in regulation. Lucas Rose, second goal of the night, gives Carolina the 4-3 lead. We'll come down the stretch in 30 seconds. 
The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit WSFairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flo Volkswagen. Around Xanax. That's Peter Panachik. That's Matthew Bazarin. I'm Brett Wiseman. Whole different ball game now. 4 3 Thunderbirds lead with under five minutes to go. 428 to be exact here. So I'll ask both of you this. What what is the MO? What's the mentality here? You can't sit back. But you can't let off the gas either. You've Got to find that happy medium, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. You can sit back, but you don't want to do. You don't want to, you know, give Watertown like the chances from the rush. So you got to you got to play very smart now. Yeah. You got to play very simple, and you don't want the Watertown to to let and give any chances to score any any goal. You know what? Also doing well too. We're using that one-two-two trap on them pretty well, so they can't really seem to get out of their zone. And uh, we're really pressuring them, so it's gonna be hard for Watertown here, but. Let's see what they got. 428 to go in regulation. Shots are 40-30 in favor of Carolina as reads the scoreboard. 4-3 in the Thunderbirds' favor. PV wins the draw, but he won it too cleanly. It came right on goal, and Cavallari had to stop it with the glove. You don't see that every day. And Peavy's been kicked out of the dock. Gutsita wins the draw. Grabenikov trying to hop on it. Over for Bioni. He'll start the engine, maneuver it up the ice. Icing waved off as it was tipped. Hussey trying to play that away from a four-checking Peavy and does just barely. Gutsita pokes it loose. Peavy dangles around a man, takes a hit from McGuire. And it's worked free over for Carter. Down the near side wing, he comes. Works into the zone. Around Butsita. Shoots on goal. Cavallari made the stop. 3.55 to go. Oh, that was a dangerous bounce. <laughs> that was a funky bounce off the stanchion. Moscow. And Moscow Cavallari had to be <laughs> alert right there. Well, we've seen that a few times down here at this end of the ice. That back wall down here at this far side at the uh, Wolf attacking net twice down here. Yeah. Nice block by us. Yeah, that was a great block. Rose on this loose puck. Pass was picked off. Thrown back out to the point through traffic. That hit a leg in front with Wilson. But Pandria on it. Shoots it and is sticked out of play by Cavallari. Three thirty-six to go. Forty to thirty-two now. Shots read as Hussey definitely started the engine early on that draw. When the other player even tosses you out of the circle, you know it's bad. Mm -hmm. Kennedy will work this out to center at the red line. Now across the blue line, Salak trying to drop it back for Pastuka. Kept in though by Baker with three twenty to go in regulation. Martin holds it in. Skates around a man. Try to drop it back out top. Pastuka keeps it alive. Martin and Moskal are battling for it. Baker in a battle with Salak. Moved ahead for Lord. Lord watched from behind. Fanned on the pass. Eventually got it to Wilson. Dropped it back for Lord. Lord shoots. Cavallari got another one. He swallowed that hole with the chest with 3.01 to go. He saw all of it. Nobody in front of the screen on was a good save. Well, now the question is, how long do you wait to pull the goaltender as we come down the stretch here? 
they still got the time. I feel like they still got a minute. I'd say around 120. Banked out by Martin, and for Rowe. Here comes Rowe down the wing, trying to maneuver it in front. Ford and Keplinger both were trying to get to the front of the net, but could not. Martin moves it ahead, Ford tips it into the zone. Up the wall, yellow knee. Moves it ahead for Carter, picked off by Martin. Now for Ford, he'll play it over for Kennedy. Ahead for Keplinger, good breakout. Keplinger down the near side. Skates around Beautiful McGuire. Scene. Out top, Kennedy holds it in, shoots, and that got man up high. Carter. You don't want to let Carter use his speed, he'll get right around you. Moves it in the zone, 2.15 to go. Hussey standing at the edge of the crease, waiting for a signal from his bench. Off the wall it comes, wow. Rowe can't get it out. Kennedy banks it for Rowe, he will get it out. Touched by Ford, ahead for Keplinger. A a big by hit here. right here. Maneuvers it in front. Oh, Ford is tripped up. Rowe hops on the loose puck. Trying to move it in front for Danny Martin. Keplinger hops on it again, though, and keeps it in the zone with a minute 45 left. Moved ahead for Moskal around Grabenikov. Here's Moskal. Grabenikov able to recover nicely and poke it loose. 95 seconds to go. Loose puck in front, pinballing around. And Net is empty for Watertown. Watertown. It's 6 on 5 now. Moskal. Shot it in front, but the high stick was called. And it looks like the draw is going to be outside of the zone. And it should be. That was played by Watertown and the high stick inside the zone. So they'll bring that back out to the neutral zone. And Watertown's called their timeout now. So we know what Watertown's trying to draw up, or at least we think. What's Garrett Rutledge drawing on the dry race board from a defensive perspective here, You definitely fellas? don't want to get, let them sit down in an offensive zone. Like the best scenario to win a draw, get back to the offensive zone from the Thunderbird side, you know, and stay on a puck. You know, you want to stay on a puck the, the longest possible and you don't want to let Watertown Wolves set up in the zone. Well, they, That's gonna, the key. They're going to bring a lot of pressure, but also they're going to stay collapsed as well because they know they do have that extra guy, so... Gonna, we're going to see them try and pressure them a lot here, though. Quite the game to start the weekend and the third of a season-long six-game homestand here at the Annex. So we got a John Butita, Blake PV, Baker, Grebenikov, and Kennedy. This is the five warriors for Carolina Thunderbirds right now. It's a good way to put it. But the draw is outside, which is nice. PV wins it. Oh. Picked off by Yellow Knee. What a stop Saved by, by Cavallari. Cavallari. Oh, what a stop. That's a huge stop. That was a... It worked out, Butita. Can't get it out. Pinballing around in front, man. It's off a of kneeling Kennedy to the corner. Wilson, shot in front, rebound, Anything. yellow knee scores. Oh my goodness. Absolute chaos in front of the net. And Larry Yellow Knee is the one that hops on the rebound to tie it up. Well. Wow. Oh, that gave the pressure for sure. <clears throat> there was the pressure you were talking about. Yep. 68 seconds to go here. Still time for Carolina to get it back, though. Hussey. Off the draw, works it ahead. Pasuka gets it in deep. Crowd comes to life. Urging the Thunderbirds on with a minute to go. In regulation. McGuire skates it out. Around his opposite number, Pasuka. McGuire below the goal line. Backhanded on goal. Cavallari will glove it down and play it safe with 50 seconds left. And now is really a time, guys, when you don't want to take a stupid penalty because of 
post-whistle shenanigans. Oh, 100%. I also want to be careful. You know, Watertown, they got a player who know how to score now, and you still got a 50 seconds left, so... A lot, of can, well, a lot can happen in a fi those 50 seconds. Shots are 40-38. Carolina wins the draw. Martin, back of the goal, moves it ahead. Keplinger plays it over for Kennedy. Kennedy is able to get the red line and get it in deep with some fervor on it. Pens, bodied off by Keplinger. Plays it for Putsida. Putsida, and it's now cleared down by Watertown. Kennedy's in a foot race for it, and he'll win it. According to the linesman, 27.3 to go in regulation, and it's an icing call. Got a 27 seconds left. It looks like timeout by Carolina. Yep, Carolina's called their timeout. We got a 27 seconds left. Maybe you can pull up some one of the, the face-off plays and surprise the Watertown team. Yeah, so I'll pose you this, guys. What are you drawing up on the dry erase board over there offensively right now? Uh, you know what? You could, you could have the behind-the-net play. Center wins it. Somebody goes behind the net. Somebody's in the slot for that pass. I don't know. Rutsi has a lot in his head there, so he could be, could, could be drawing up anything. Timeout comes to an end. The five on the ice. Ford, Baker, Kennedy, Keplinger, and Peavy, who will take the draw and win it. Keplinger back for Kennedy. Kennedy down low. A little bit too far for Peavy. Worked up and out. Baker kneeling, takes a hit, and Hussey. And now a, I think called for an embellishment. A whistle here as Baker. I think he called it for an embellishment. That's what he should have done because Hussey definitely flopped at center. I think it's a call. Or I think it's a call coming towards Watertown there. Baker's helmets come off as he was involved with Lord. Now Lord's headed to the box. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be Good Dustin Berkin slash unsportsman contact. After they hit the hit, Dustin slashing, right. so I think it's the call for unsportsman liking or slashing, one of those. And Brad, well, this is exactly what we've been talking about. You don't want to take a penalty 12 seconds before yeah, the were overtime. High. Tensions were high and got the best of Baker there. Well, Baz, I, I thought you had it well read there because it didn't look like a whole lot happened there off the stick of Baker. Yeah. And Hussey's reaction was delayed, to yeah, say the least. And we had we had possession of the puck, too, while uh, we're skating. While the, while the arm was in the air. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, but there was a hit. There was a hit in the dust scene, and you could you could see on a, on a video that he slashed him after. So that's definitely what the referee was calling out. I guess he just didn't see we had the puck. Or there is oh, going to be probably more penalties. Oh, I think it's Lord there. Yeah, Lord had gone back to the bench. Which uh, clearly was incorrect. So it's going to be four on four now. 25 and 16 each have two minutes, so... It looks like uh, Baker is going to get two minutes for slashing and uh, 16 from Watertown, it looks like roughing because they jump off one of the guys after, after the call. Yep, Baker's got the initial call for yep. the slash and, roughing and Trevor exactly Lord for roughing. Look at you. Be a ref and an announcer. <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, 12 seconds remaining here in regulation. If it does carry over to overtime, we'll stay four on four. Not go three on three, at least not yet. Kennedy with 10 seconds, with three, with two, with one. It's worked out. And at the horn, man cannot quite get the attack going. And we head to overtime. Wow, what a game. What a game indeed. We'll take a timeout. Tied up 4-4. Bonus hockey on a Friday night. That's Peter Panacic. That's Matthew Mazarin. I'm Brett Wiseman. We're back with OT after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Always reaching higher. Pushing further. Achieving remarkable. At Novant Health, we never stop. Because whether it's sports performance at the highest level or the playground level, we're driven to help you excel at what drives you. Not just keeping you healthy for the game, but also healthy for life. Novant Health. Expect remarkable. Think driving a third row SUV has to be boring? Don't compromise with your next SUV. With an athletic look and performance to match, the Acura MDX is modern, stylish, safe, and designed to thrill. The 2023 MDX adds peace of mind with complimentary maintenance. 48 on those matching miners as we head to overtime here inside the Annex alongside Peter Panacic and Matthew Bazer. And I'm Brett Wiseman, technical assistance tonight from the Hardy, hardworking crew of Colby Cook on social media, Logan Allen on camera, Jose and Gina Bahina pressing buttons and making things light up and all that. And Rick O'Neill, the radio guy at our WTOB studios, holding things down. He's, he's pressing different levers and buttons than Jose's pressing, but both are equally doing as great a job as the other. Well, right now the real question is, who wants to be a hero? Who wants to be a hero and uh, take home the winning goal? I think Gus Ford wants to be the hero. I think he's going to do it. We're doing a Bucci overtime challenge here. Is that what we're doing? Gus Ford and Lucas Rowe both have had more than the opportunities they've converted on on the edge of their sticks tonight, guys. It looks like uh, Peele will take a draw. PV Rowe and Ford are out there. It's not three on three. It is three on three, but soon as the the guy is going to jump up right, from the box, right, it will, it will right. continue it four will, on four until four the next whistle. Four. Right, right. Hey, Brett, you're the broadcast. You're supposed to know this stuff. We're underway in overtime, and we go three on three until those two exit the box. Moskal. Got to watch his shot here. He's a good shot. Working down the wing. Slams on the brakes. Back ends it out top. Carter. 90 seconds left on those penalties. Waterton's making a quick change. Hussey hops on. Carter. Uses that speed that Baz talked about. Near side. Hussey touches it out top, but too far for Wilson. Now it's played back for Hussey. And Ford has it in his own end. One minute to go on the penalties, one minute gone in the overtime. Ford shoots it, tips off the goal stick of Hussey. Ford's back on it, trying to go back door for Rowe. Now he'll find Rowe out on top of the dot, and Rowe is forced back out to center. He'll restart the engine at the red line. Here's Rowe, shoots! Oh. Blocker stop, Hussey. Peavy keeps the play alive. Throws it back out to center, Kennedy with 30 seconds left for Pastuka. Peavy's able to touch on. Pastuka shoots! Missed just high. Or was it blown dead beforehand offside? Yeah, he called it offside, bro. I didn't see an arm go up, but... 30 seconds in both penalties. You guys be coming off soon. Baker and Lord do have 30 seconds remaining on their respective sentences. Carolina wins the draw. Pastuka works it free. Kennedy down the wing. Skates back of the goal. Watched by McGuire. Kennedy 
He'll work back out to center, kill more time. 15 seconds. Kennedy, back from Pastuka, watched by Moskal, moved ahead for Keplinger in the final five seconds of the penalties. Here comes Kennedy, into the high slot, shoots that hit a stick, up and out of play, and conveniently for both teams, I would say, it's not gonna end up four on four as the whistle comes as soon as both penalties expire. Couldn't have timed that any better if we tried. Three ten to go here in overtime. Carter, back of the goal, watched by Rowe. Carter, trying to start the engine up the wall. Maneuvers it up to Hussey. Hussey, watched by Ford. Hussey shoots, blocker save, Cavallari. Stays in play. Out top, Carter will let it trickle out to center. 2.49 left in overtime. Carter, chased by Rowe. Back of his own goal, Carter. Plays it around Rowe. Carter starts the engine. Here he comes. Carter into the high slot. Shoots. That got Cavallari in the mask. Ford gets it, though. Head for Salak trying to chip it free. Rowe skates around the man. Here comes Lucas Rowe. In. Blocked. Blocked. Shot never got on goal. Hussey chips it down low below the goal line. 2.15 to go in overtime. Carter's been out there for a while. Watched by Rowe. Hussey sets an inadvertent pick. Now played ahead for Moskal. Moskal waiting for reinforcements. Oh, He's got room out top that. now. Moskal shoots, missed oh, high. It hit a post. It hit the bar. It hit a bar. It, it might bar. have hit the crossbar. I think you're right, Peter. It hit the crossbar. If you, give you if you give Moskal all that time and space, he probably has one of the best shots in the league, so you really got to watch out for that. You saw he worked that space free himself right there, Baz. Yeah. When he slammed on the brakes and moved back out top towards the blue line. Carolina wins the draw. Kennedy with under two minutes to go in overtime. Kennedy dangling out at center. Stick handles his way into the zone. Kennedy can't get it around Wilson. Wilson moves it ahead with Lord. Moskal looking for Lord, picked off by Pringle. Now Botita hops on it. Utsida starts the engine up the near side. Here comes the Thunderbirds captain. Drops it for Pringle. Pringle stick handles his way into the slot. Out of the dot, shoots it on. Save made by Hussey. Moskal with a minute 15 to go here in overtime. Drops it back for Lord. Lord will set up in his own end to the red line. Lord. Into the zone, down the right side. Lord back of the goal, chips it off the wall with a minute to go in overtime. Moskal blocked by Keflier. One minute left. Lord over for Moskal. Moskal trying to work around Keflier and does with a screen from Mann. Now drops back with 40 seconds left in overtime. McGuire watched by Peavy. McGuire. Bothered by PV with 30 seconds left now. Worked ahead. Here's Hussey. 30 seconds. Hussey dangles around Keplinger. On the backhand. Close oh, save Cavallari. And he'll get the whistle. It looked like he wanted to play that ahead right there. No! 22.7 to go here in overtime. And what has been a thriller tonight here in Winston-Salem. One by Wilson, shoots. Cavallari might have gotten a piece of that with the blocker. It comes out of the zone with 15 seconds. Hussey lost the handle. Rowe trying to chip it around McGuire, but did a good job sealing him off. 10 seconds. Pass is picked off at center oh, by Ford. Here comes Ford. Ford. Rowe shoots, oh, wow. saved by Hussey <laughs> with two seconds and 1.7. Oh, oh my goodness. Lucas Rowe with his hands over his head. <laughs> that was a good, that was a great pass by Forty. Head was up. You saw him the whole way. That was a good save too by Hussey. 
Got a three seconds left. Gotta win a draw and take a shot. I put time back on the clock, so three seconds, even. Baker wins the draw. Ford got the shot away. Baker's <laughs> shot was blocked. And we go to a shootout. I think the last time we played them, it was in a shootout as well. It was the first time the two met this year. It was a shootout. Yeah. Well, Brad, any guesses is going to go for me? It's Gus Ford. I would say Ford first. Ford. It's going to be Ford, Baker, Rowe, Salak. Doesn't and the Pestuka. away team shoot first? Pretty sure. I think the away team will shoot first. You see, there was some confusion on that. The only other shootout Carolina has been in this year, which was against Wandertown. Right. As far as not only who shoots first, but how many shooters you get. Right. So what's the rule, Brad? Rule is five shooters for three shooters per side. It's best of three, but you have everybody has to shoot once, and you have to cycle through before anyone can repeat. Shots end up 44-41 at the end of 65 minutes, which were not enough to decide a winner tonight. We head to the one-on-one -on -one skill competition. And the puck sits at center, awaiting the start of the shootout. Looks like Hussey will shoot first for water time. And he's hopping over the boards. All right, Mario, let's see it. Brendan Hussey, first shooter for Watertown. Hussey works his way in, shoots and scores. That was a nice forehand move. Yuri Pastuka will shoot first for Carolina. Pastuka down the wall, works his way in, shoots, and it's scores! 1-1! One, one. Pastuka, what a shot he has, man. What a shot. Yellow Knee will be the second shooter for Watertown. Yellow Knee to the left. Back to the slot, shoots, scores. Oh my. Mario will definitely not be happy about this one. A Watertown now has a two to one lead in the shootout. And Gus Ford. Ford will shoot second for Carolina. Starts the engine, works to his left. Hussey all the way out of the crease. Ford, score! Oh. <laughs> that looks way too easy. That was <laughs> filthy. <laughs> Gus Ford makes it look way too easy. He looks, he looks, yeah. <clears throat> Is it just beers that look like he's playing a video game sometimes? Yeah, it looks, it's insane. All right, Mario, come on, buddy. Mario v. Moskal. 2-2 two -two in the shootout. Here comes Moskal. Oh. Pump check by Cavalier! All right, Pringle. Let's see what you got, buddy. Justin Pringle can win it. Here comes Pringle. Oh. Blocker stop, Hussey. We remain tied. We go to the extra rounds. I know Lord's going to show five over here. Lord will shoot for Watertown. Here comes Lord. Pat stop Cavallari! Oh, 
Joe Kennedy will now shoot for Carolina. Number four with the game tied at four will try to win it. Kennedy oh, missed just wide. Maybe got a little bit too cute there. Just a little bit. Puck kind of fluttered on him there too. Didn't really get all of it. And now Don Carter Jr. Don Carter Jr. Skates into the zone. Carter. Stopped by Cavallari. Clean feed. Clean feed. Get Josh Keplingo. Get clean feed. And now Keplinger to take the draw. Or to take the shot, I should say. Works his way in. Keplinger. Yes. Let's go home. Josh Keplinger for the win. Michigander to the rescue! That's how we do it here. That's amazing. Wow. Five for the final in the shootout. Josh Keplinger, the game-winning goal in the shootout. We'll take a timeout, come back and wrap this thing up. 5-4 shootout win and a thriller tonight in Winston-Salem. We're back after this. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. Back here inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex as we await the announcement of our three stars tonight. Shots end up 44-41. Justin Pringle is our third star. As they'll toss that up. As every star does, tosses one of the souvenir t-shirts. Looks like Lucas Rowe might be star number two. There he is. Well deserved, I'd say. Two goals on the night. And I'm assuming first star would have to be 28, right? For the second night in a row. Keplinger wins the game in the shootout and earns first star honors tonight. Boy, what a hockey game we just witnessed here in Winston-Salem. Take one final break, wrap things up when we come back. This is Thunderbirds Hockey. 
The road to Winston-Salem ends at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. The ACC Hockey Championships return featuring two weekends of hockey, February 10th through 12th and February 17th through 19th. Visit wsfairgrounds.com for tournament schedule and more. Ava's Cupcakes is the triad sweet treat. The season four winner of Cupcake Wars has been featured on Food Network and NBC's Today Show. Ava's Cupcakes are expertly handcrafted with fresh ingredients. Treat yourself today. National shipping available at avascupcakes.com. At Flow Volkswagen, we make it easy, transparent, and fun to find the perfect SUV. Step into the fun, versatile, turbocharged Volkswagen Taos with 4Motion all-wheel drive and loads of tech at your fingertips. Get into the stylish and versatile Volkswagen Tiguan, designed for every lifestyle. With a wide variety of SUVs in stock, get the right Volkswagen for you. Come in today, schedule a test drive, or shop online at FlowVolkswagenWinstonSalem.com. Use artificial intelligence in new ways to detect strokes earlier than ever before. More peace of mind, since we're the only system in our region that provides pediatricians on demand. We're inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. Special thanks to Peter Panachik and Matthew Bazarin for coming on the broadcast this evening. And a special thanks, as always, to our technical crew consisting tonight of Colby Cook on social media, Gina and Jose Bahina on both in and outside arena technical duties, and Logan Allen, who is currently discoing behind the camera. You, you didn't think you were going to get away with that, did you? No. He, doesn't, he also doesn't care. Uh, he was operating the camera tonight and is celebrating as only Logan Allen can by dancing badly. Not that I dance much better. Back here against the Watertown Wolves tomorrow night. Special thanks to uh, Rick O'Neill, the radio guy in our studio, WTOB Radio Studios. Holding things down tonight. Special thanks to our crew. As always, Josh Keplinger, the hero tonight in the shootout. 5-4, Carolina wins it. we got a rematch coming tomorrow night. We're on the air at 5.35 here on WTOB and shortly thereafter on Thunderbirds TV. And puck drop set for 6.05. For Jose, Gina, Logan, Peter, Matthew, Rick, the Thunderbirds, I'm Brett Wiseman. We'll see you back here tomorrow night.